Uh, I'm gonna do the achievement here. The, uh, this... Kings to the seventh generation, starting as Count U Udes. Oh my god, I don't know French. Gonna start in 867 and lead this guy to the Kingdom of France. And it's probably gonna go horribly because as amazing as I am at Crusader Kings 2, I have yet to master Crusader Kings 3. I have sent an army twice as big as the one I was going up against and lost a battle because of bad rolls and just not fully understanding the mechanics of the quality of my army versus the quality of theirs. And I have coffee here, so I'm going to keep obnoxiously sipping like that. But from the very beginning, I made sure, I'm going to make sure again, that nudity is turned off because I don't want Twitch to ban me on, like, my first legitimate real stream. That'd be very awkward. Nudity is set to never. You all saw me do it. It's set there. It's set. I set it. It's going to happen. I hope. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start as this guy. Let's do it. He's a 10-year-old. This is gonna suck. Robert T. Oh, shoot. I got to save. Always to cloud. Uh, you days achievement hunt winky face start uh. Iron Man. Now, of course, if I get the achievement, I'm going to go ahead and try to conquer the whole world, and consequentially, um, I need to name my cadet branch accordingly as soon as I can make one. I have so much fun naming the house that I'm in that, oh my god, it's ridiculous. My first one was my favorite joke, and I'm going to keep going with it. Uh, until someone calls me out on it, and I don't think I'm ever going to get any viewers, so I'm going to just keep doing it. I'm going to keep naming my, uh, if I can, name my dynasty. The dynasty is going to be Manifest. It'll be the Manifest Dynasty. And uh, the house, I don't know. I went with house, mu house of Music last time. Or House Music. You know, just House Music. The generic tss, tss, House Music. And I had a lot of fun with that, because uh, then I could just name my kids Jazz or Rock and Roll. Their, their names would be Jazz Music. And then your character would have an opinion of jazz music. I don't know. I thought it was funny. So, um, let's assess the situation before we start anything. I want all the alliances I can get, first of all. That's awesome. And I f fucked this up last time I tried playing as this character. I was not able to kill anyone in the line of succession before these titles all escaped me, but as a 10-year-old, I can't de plot to kill anyone anyway. That's just out of my reach, evidently. I don't have any knights. I can declare wars on people that are meatier than I am. I'm not meaty enough for that. I will gladly get more taxes. That sounds awesome. And do I have any claim? Oh my lord, I do have claims to, like, everything here. Who controls this? He's the duke, and I am not in that line of succession yet, I guess. My half-brother. I'm still going to plot to kill him when I get the chance, because that's... Stuff f flew out of my control before I could even get ahead of it. These are all counties. I would love Dijon. In the other game, in CK2, that was a huge one. Here it's only got three holdings. That's kind of lame. Bourbon. Also pretty nice. How much is my military strength with my alliances? About 12 hundo. And how much is my liege? Can I declare independence from him? I should do that immediately because last time I didn't do that and she became friends with Aquitaine over here. He became my biggest enemy. He was also a giant, so he was my biggest enemy in addition to being my biggest enemy. 
thank you for that applause. So, I should get ahead of the curve here and see if I can marry into his family first. Does he want anything matrilineally? Oh my gosh, it hasn't barred them yet. Oh, that'd be so cool. Nope. Why do you even bother offering that? Why? That's not acceptable at all. No, incorrect. How about... I got all these half-sisters. You don't want this because I have too many existing. I only have like baby alliances. Those don't count. I only have two. Heck off. Marrying down my ass. Uh. Okay. Let's make mistakes. He, oh shoot. He's allied to me. I could fight him for... No, I would lose. <laughs> I'm certain of that. I still want to marry into Aquitaine, though, because this guy, he's just a powerhouse. I'm sure in this session, that won't be the case at all, because that's just how karma works. Do you have like a lame brother? Someone who's, I don't know, inbred that you're willing to forfeit f for me? My half-sister's got some cool claims. Don't you want those? You telling me you don't want to claim to all these nice fresh titles? You're a liar. Oh, oh my god, you are pretty big though. Toulouse, are you stupid? Are you stupid enough to accept an offer from me? I think they are not. No, of course they're not. There's gotta be something I can do. How about my little brother and your anyone else? No, how about my little baby child sister and your... Okay, heck. We're just gonna have to grow up a little. And grow up we shall. Who can I wed? People with claims but no alliances. I want a potential alliance, thank you. That's what I need as a petty count in West Francia. Is that that's where I'm at? Yeah. In the midst of some Carolingian wars that are about to ensue. I hate the Carlings, they're everywhere. Of course we're related. But not in the way that matters. And boy heck, is that uncool. I've learned that Catholicism can be weakened a lot more efficiently in this game than in other games. Like I started up here, where's religion? I started as Ireland in 1066 for my first real playthrough. And whereas they were very vehemently Catholic in uh, Crusader Kings 2, now they're insular. And that means that you can have four wives, I believe, I think. It was either that or or uh, concubines. You are insular. Yeah. Oh yeah. Multiple marriages. So that was pretty cool. Cause I mean, having uh, kin was never a problem. <laughs> a 
Ooh, wait a minute. Can I snatch up your land? Now that sounds like a good, good deal there, sir. Give me your titles. Oh boy, I want men at arms, but I don't have the money yet. Ah, uh, gee, I sure hope I win this war. That'd be really embarrassing to start a game and in the first 15 minutes lose a very easy war. Okay, I like ladies. That's good for the sake of procreation. I got three knights. I could probably do for some more. But I can't. Not without spending something I don't want to right now. I need... Uh, oh gosh, I need that stuff to do things. Oh shoot, let's go get these marriages. Come on now. I was so stubborn to like spread my seed, so to say, to make sure that I had a huge family last time, that I didn't let my uh, female family members marry out non-dynastically. They needed to be matrilineal or nothing, but uh, that didn't do anything for me last time. But you know what, I think... Yeah, you know what, her house is a different one than mine. So that doesn't really matter. Just marry the top suggestion. Excellent! Now hopefully I can declare war on my liege without any problems. I am not betrothed, that is true. I should become extremely fertile, that would be nice. Give me good genetics. And I'm just going to speed up time to get through this very drawn-out war quickly. Early game seems similar in this game than it was to CK2, where uh, it's better just to speed up time if you're going to be sieging for about <laughs> for the good portion of a year. Then average it back out. March over here, and hopefully they'll try to siege this again. Uh, hopefully they just stay perfectly still and keep doing nothing. You scare them out of their lands and zoop. I don't think I want Catharism. Catharism. Please don't kill me if I am terrible at pronouncing things. The Duke of Aquitaine, no less, is a heretic. A dirty, dirty heretic. Oh my god, there's a big schism going on now. Get the heck out of here, all y'all. Oh, sweet, and I get to learn stuff, too. I am a Diplo-focused child who is calm and deceitful. Well, deceitful sucks for diplomacy. Let's try to balance that out a little bit. Impatience also bad for diplomacy. Because you want people to have good opinions of you. Shy and gluttonous. Well, these all suck. But, uh, I'd go out to say that Impatient is the least sucky of all of them. But you know what else else? I'm not being raised by anyone, and we gotta rectify this. I would really like... Whoops, that's the wrong thing. I'm gonna open up browser to make sure that there's nothing happening in the chat. I need to be raised by someone who can teach me well in the way of uh, books and talking. And it seems like there are fewer consequences to being raised by a foreign leader, unless they're hostile. So I'm just going to click around randomly and hope I find someone who's not good at gosh darn learning. I want someone who's good at diplomacy. Give me Diplo-focused people. Come on now. How about the king? Nah. 
course not. All right. Charismatic negotiate. You know what? Let's actually go for gray eminence. These all have the same terms as a CK2, so it's easy for me to quick search them. What's this dork? Their military strength is zero, but constantly refilling. That's nice. Uh, we got a virtuous sin and zealous. I could do for some good favor by the Pope because I'm sure he's going to end up hating me. So I'm going to offer myself as a ward and hope I can get a good education from this stranger. And then slow down time because it looks like my siege is just about done. Pause. I don't waste no time. Enforce demands. So be it. Now my domain is too high. Awesome! Let's negotiate an alliance. And immediately get to work locking down control of this region. Control in this game. Whoa! The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed. The day I met Count Heistein. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate smiled upon me and gave me... <laughs> and brought that brash bed swerver to his grave. I don't know who that is. Oh my god, the king killed him. At least it was good for me. I don't know why it was good for me, but at least it was so. Uh, now that I took control of this county, I need to raise its control so that I have full le levies, levies and taxes from it. Otherwise, it's more likely to um, rebel and it's less likely to pay me and give me troops. And I need money and troops and no rebellion. So locking down things is a really good thing. Thing to have done disband all and who's at war here king prince tyranny against king of Brittany I don't really care and I guess yeah that's my liege's liege my top liege is the one who decided to fight that war okay and the king has control of the rest of the duchy that I want. Which I think, yeah, Orleans. I'll just go for Anjou. Which I already have part of. Uh, click on that. Duchy of Anjou. Cannot usurp the primary title. Because I need to be independent of a duke. I can't make myself a duchy if I... I'm a count who's already ruled by a duke, so I have to declare independence from the duke to declare myself a duke. Makes sense. Makes enough sense. I also need to seize one more county that is du jour. Uh, this guy's kind of scary. He controls... Uh, that. What's this? I control. Okay, yeah, that's one big county. No wonder it's my capital. It's got so many holdings. What other duchies are around? Barry's. I have no counties in Barry, but my liege do. So I'm going to have to fight this idiot for my claims on no, no. Oh my god, I can claim everything here. My, my people hail from up in Normandy, evidently. But I can't get any of the counties down here that I want. Instead... Are these the ones that I'm in line 
What's succession for? No, I would just have to fight him for these. Neustria. New Neustria. All right, easy peasy stuff. I'm above my domain limit. That's no big deal. Once I get old enough, I can marry someone who can help me with that. A little bit. Hopefully enough. And once I'm a duke, I won't have to worry about it. Speaking of, I should kill him. He's gotta die. Maybe he'll die on his own if I'm lucky. He should keep going to war. He has high enough prowess that I think he put himself on the front lines. So we can dream. A man can dream, though. If I did hypothetically declare war on this guy, he is vastly inferior to me and mine. Let's take a peek, because I think I have claims to all of the counties, in, or most of the counties up here in Normandy. Or Neustria. In Neustria, I would need four counties. That would take a long time for me to get a control of, and I think the penalty to uh, my levies and taxes from being over my domain limit would be too great a tax for me to manage. So, oh great, it's starting. Who? My brother? He's curious. There's never a quiet moment for my brother Robert is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help but get exhausted by the constant stream of thoughts and queries. Cute. Alright. I think I will make a good men-at-arms regiment as soon as possible. Sieging. I always want to go for siege weapons. But... I did some clicking around earlier to see uh, what the types of, of land are around here. It's mostly plains up here, some farmlands, forest. Very few hills. Hills down south in uh, Aquitaine, I think that is. And, oh my god, it got bigger! What happened? This big scary man. Marry my family. I want to be friends with you, Aquitaine. You're scaring me. What's this? Greetings, brother. I would like for your younger brother, Robert, to be raised by Luther. Who's Luther? A bishop. Catholic and Preparian. And he is... Uh, what did I do? No, I don't want to find a title. Sure. Yeah, I don't care. Do what you will. I might want to change my focus. But my learning is impaired. I'm learning impaired. That's also bad. I don't want that. I don't care about endorsement right now. I'm working on the control. I can't get any more knights without more prestige. This is good to know, because once this disappears, that means I'm not fourth in line anymore. I'm fifth or higher. And uh, that's a hard pit to get out of. It's good to know who's angry at me and how many troops they have. They have about one-third of my troops so I might want to appoint them somewhere oh shoot they're a good marshal yeah sorry bud you're getting fired zoop so now this guy wants to be on my council somewhere else but I don't care about 83 men he can rebel with his 83 dudes he won't win I hope that again would be very embarrassing I really want this 
alliance to stop happening. Can't murder him. Can't anything him. I need to just grow up. Three more years and I'll be a grown up. Oh, men at arms, right. Uh, planes and forests are what we mostly have. And uh, I think it was bowmen who are good at forests. Or a horseman good at plains, drylands, but awful on hills. But they're pretty cool. I like horsemen. Light feet, forest, jungle, pikemen, hills, mountains, deserts. Armored guys. Really just counter spearmen. I think I sh sh can get two of these. I think I'll go for horsemen. We're gonna get one tiny regiment of horsemen. Hopefully that'll work in our favor in the long run. Uh, this guy can suck it. And I'm not going to declare war on a king when I am but a petty count for a claim on a county that I'll probably lose control of anyway. So goodbye to that. And I'm sure these will reset on their own soonish or latish. Whoa! I forgot all about factions because I'm not used to being a subordinate. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, I cannot join a peasant rabble. And when I'm an ally, I can't... Okay. I see why this is rated as one of the hardest beginnings. There's a lot of waiting involved, which I'm okay with. Now, what is this happening here? I gotta murder the same five people for most of this, except here they're switched around. Okay. I just gotta make sure these guys don't have any more kids. Now this guy's 50 and in good health, and that's bad for me. This guy is married, betrothed and young, and, uh, seemingly fertile, so I should be worried about him. And that is a 13-year-old who I'm sure will manage to have a million jillion babies. Before I can do anything about it. I don't want him to have a million jillion babies. Kingdom of Italy. Oh, you're going to try to expand that quickly? I sure hope you don't succeed, because I want control of West Francia before it becomes the Holy Roman Empire again. It's controlling the Holy Roman Empire is a beast in and of itself. Increase control. Okay, Coolio. I could... Greetings. Who are you and why are you fighting? You're defending against someone who wants to conquer you and you are... Oh, a dear ally to me. I will help you if it looks like you're not going to succeed. But if not, then, you know, you can fuck yourself. My war. The attackers are vast. Oh no, it's the Vikings. What is this reflection? Oh, that's weird. Not cool. 
Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. Because I probably need my troops here for when something inevitably goes horribly wrong. But heck, I might just break my alliance anyway. I'm not famous. I don't think there's a level below <laughs> insignificant. Okay, general opinion is horrible for three years. I spent a lot of that. Okay. The world just generally hates me for a, for a hot minute. Oh, disgraced. Yeah, no, I don't want that. I'll just let him live out his nice and boring life as Duke Hugo. In the meantime, let's see what other independent rulers around here I can heck with. My uncle has the same name as me. That's weird. Is he one of mine? He is one of mine. Oh, I can't wait until I can plot to kill people. Oh, it's coming up too. I'm 15, I'm almost 16, and 16 is an adult. Listen to all that. Ooh. What's my birthday? January 1st, of course it is. The default birthday. What's happening? Why are you flicking around? God, the Carling made a cadet branch. Oh, lame. I finally concluded my studies in the art of diplomacy. I am disappointed in my results as I really think I could have done better. Thinking back on my childhood, I realized I never truly connected with anyone. Even as I saw others playing with friends or whispering about love, I never experienced such things myself. I am certain the coming years will lead to a new friend, <laughs> to new friends and new opportunities. Oh, he's so sweet. He's like a little Michael Scott. He just wants friends. I'm not curious anymore. Well, here's where the fun begins. We're going to be a diplomat, first of all. A very fertile one. I'm going to get married. Congrats to me. And I'm going to create a cadet branch. And it's going to be... Oh, I can't edit that. I need to be the head of my dynasty to rename it, I think. All right, this is going to be... Uh... I did the House of Representatives before. The last one I did was House of Music, and I'm still thinking of going with House of Music. Could do House of Cards. Mm. Let's do House Music again. I didn't. Uh, I didn't peek with that yet. Forgettable lyrics. Memorable beat. No. Solid. There we go. I don't know if the semicolon's appropriate there. Please, if you're out there and you know grammar better than I do. Give me shit for it, because I should be better. I do have a degree in nothing, after all. Why am I raising my... Oh, I don't... Yeah, you know what? He can... Is he being subjugated? Conquest of... One county. Eh, that will be pretty impactful, but... He'll probably still at least have 800 boyos for me to ask to help with when the time comes, but in the meantime, it's time to kill my brother. Well, my half-brother. 
Unless the Pope likes me enough to just give me a claim on his title. That'd be rad. But other than that, I think I'm going to have to murder him. This confuses me. Predicted secrecy is 33%. That means a 33% chance that I won't get caught. It's not a 33% chance that I will. 18% chance that I'll succeed due to intrigue. I'm just going to start that up. Tell my spy master to help me out. And then let's see if we can invite any people. 14 power. Where's the power? Success chance is one thing, but I don't understand how power comes in. Oh! Okay. I guess the power is twice their intrigue. Bribe? Oh, that's so hefty a cost, though. Now, let's see who joins automatically, if anyone. I want money. Do Hugo. Whoa, I did. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sure. I think that gives me a prestige bonus, does it? No. 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 It must give me something. You know what? Let me inherit a bunch of titles instead if I can. I, this guy I'm not worried about. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Someone just had a child and now I can't see it at all and that's really upsetting for me. No, F1 and then B, we're going back to look at this line of succession. He had a baby. Let's kill him instead. Sorry, Raul. I'm just going to hope that my liege dies of natural causes. Because uh, I don't want these titles to escape me this time. I have Raul to worry about, and then I have this stinky boy. Then another one. He's not betrothed yet, but I'm sure once he realizes he's in the line of succession, he'll get married quick. Now here's the question. Are there any other vassals here besides me? No. Okay, and now my plot to kill, I'm going to find age. Ooh! Oh, that's a good agent. A very good agent. I will pay the absurd fee for that. Here's a big, hefty bribe, young lady. Now that's some good numbers. I hope that my plot does not get discovered in the next five seconds, which it most certainly will, knowing my luck. That is my luck in a nutshell. After all. Click. Well, there's no one here, so I'm just going to check to see how my voice is still doing. check to see how my voice is still doing. check to see how my voice is still doing. check to see how my voice is still doing. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That's a nice solid echo we got. You know what else else? I'm going to turn the game audio up a little bit more. Oh, shoot, I have been unpaused. Teehee. Oh, and I can get another Men at Arms Regiment. Let's go. My quality is decent! Whoa! 
Who the heck? Itching for a distraction, the woman in charge of cleaning the clothes of Count Raoul's guard is brought to me. No one will notice her tampering with the clothes, and if something distracting for the guards could be planted, what would you have of me, my lord? I don't want to spend money, so suck it. Let's do this the cheap bastard way. We're gonna keep being a cheap bastard. No sheriffs. At least I'm getting some pretty good income. Believe it or not, 2.2 .2 is a pretty good amount of money to be making in the year uh, 873. In Crusader Kings 2, I'd be lucky to be making an income of 2 in the year 873. For being a count, no less. Oh no! So be it, my friend. You lost your thing. And you now have a maximum of 800. Who called it? It was me. My sister was accused of having an extramarital affair. She has claims. I don't really care about her. Sure, she's an adulterer. Oh god, she's in prison. Someone just ransom her. You guys want money, don't you? I spent... What? Heck. Who can I do that to? Sure. I really like the fact that you can have a, a hostile and a non-hostile scheme going at the same time. Oh, great. Nothing I can do about that. Also, it looks like Italy is going to be part of France soon. That's uncool. I am not happy about that. My liege will become too powerful. Why don't you get sick and die already? What? Did I lose an alliance? No. Maybe. I clicked through that too fast. Oop. One big oop. Well, that sucks. She died in prison. Oh, she was executed. Oh my god. That's a horrible. No wonder my alliance dithered. Alright. Let's keep blowing our money on making our military strange. Let's get more horses. I like horses. I won't need the money for a hot minute anyway. I doubt I'll be able to create a duchy anytime soon. Are you charging phone? Very slowly. Old phone syndrome. Ooh! Ooh, it's gonna happen! He's gonna get murdered. Then I'll have to kill his son, which kinda sucks. Oh, heck yeah! Let's have some children together. You're extremely fertile. There's no reason this shouldn't have happened earlier. 84% chance he's killed, 5% of the chance... 5% chance of the scheme being discovered. These odds seem good, but we all know Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will go wrong. That bird became the last thing he ever ate. Even better, his death throes. A bone got stuck in his throat. Now it is unclear exactly what killed him at all. Hell yeah! 
everything went perfectly. And now, I'm in line to inherit these titles again. This guy still has no children. Poor soul had both of his kids die. His stress level's probably through the roof. Uh, sorry. You're the next big threat, Mr. Fertile Stick. I'm gonna, you're next. It's Crusader Kings, it's murder is expected. Who can I invite to the party? Nobody. Hopefully I can invite somebody soon. What is your reluctance? Nothing to gain, opinion of me, it's minus one. I think the opinion modifier is one third. Uh, their, the, their reluctance to join is one third of their total opinion. So if I get her opinion of me up to the maximum of plus 100, the most I'll get out of this is plus 33, which will still give be in the negatives and I won't be able to persuade her ultimately so this person on the other hand I believe I will be able to persuade them but they don't have a very high success chance the people that are most likely to affect the outcome of this are uh, least likely to join my cause the good cause So that kind of sucks. It'd be a big, big upset. Who else is in line of succession? So there's this guy, he's not married. This guy, I guess I could find a way to schmooze if I can invite him to my court, but he has no reason to do that. I could look for secrets around bourbon. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Look for secrets around here. What's the likelihood? 0% chance of learning a secret? Well, it's boo. Boo hoo hoo. What about this, this kid? He lives there. What about my agents? Can I blackmail them into joining? That is Crusader King's logic, right? Where does this guy live? He lives in Romarontin. My dirty American dialect sullying all these beautiful words. That's also a 0% chance. Oh my god. What can I do? Who else could possibly join my cause here? Other agents, you. You live in Bourbon as well. Okay, how about you? God, everyone lives in Bourbon. I mean, that's fair because that's where the, he lives, but, you know. What is my already... <laughs> what, is, what am I doing right now? I'm trying to persuade my mayor to like me. I, in two months, I guess I'll switch over to someone else. The Count of Bourbon will pin him real quick so that I remember that he's next on the list, on the list of people to bother. Got a bunch of things on the other screen and boom okay cool he likes me a little bit more how long is it gonna take 17 months no I'm uh, 10 months yeah I'm done with that you're next sway be my friend and unpin because I don't want that to get muddled up with some crap social manipulation first time it happened I barely gave it a moment's thought but my vassal mayor Frederick has grown even bolder. His challenges 
no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. He is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Well, he's generous, brave, and cynical, and he's known as a content adventurer. Which of these would probably be most effective? Mocking his sensitive soul? Maybe. I shall task him with things that are impossible. Well, he is uh, brave but not ambitious, so that's maybe. All problems will be blamed on him. He's not proud. He's generous, so that probably won't do nothing. So I'm going to mock his sensitive soul. Ugh! I didn't succeed, and I lost fa uh, that prestige, and that sucks booty. My garrison size is higher. That's pretty cool. I have to pee. No one's going to care because no one's here. We'll see. Wham! It is I. I've returned. Wham! It is I. I've returned. Okay, cool. And that echo's gonna go Wham. on for a hot second. It is I. I've returned. No, I told you to mute, idiot! Okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. What's happening? What did I miss? Nothing? Cool. That's exactly what I expected to miss. Neighboring ruler one. Oh no! My liege is big man uh. on campus. If I remember correctly, one of the prereqs to make the Holy Roman Empire is to have Italy. Ugh, you hold the kingdom or an empire, you have a barony, city, or castle that can be leased out as a Holy Order's, re a Holy Order's headquarters. The Pope likes you, and your level of devotion is good. So you don't even need Italy. In Crusader Kings 3. That is neat. Uh, but more importantly, I'm still trying to kill my family because hot damn do I want their titles. Um, I can't get any agents on my side though. So I might put the murder scheme on hold. I'm just gonna keep stalling it, I suppose. Oh, I gave it baby. Very healthy baby with balanced humors. Uh, we are the house of music after all, so this child's name is going to be... Um, her prospects are eh. That doesn't look too good. So I'm going to call her something to the chord of... Um, What music fell out of style really recently? You know, I'm gonna call her um, 80s pop because I have high hopes for her. I want 
I want to be 80s pop music. But who knows if that's going to go through. I think the next child I have is going to be named 90s hits. Because everyone likes the 90s hits station. I, I assume. I really don't know. Yeah, I figured you're not going to find secrets in a place where you have a 0% chance of finding secrets. You idiot. Let's see if I have a meteor spy master. No, no she's the strongest. I can spy on Brittany for some reason? I know Brittany's been talking shit over there. Just, just like typical Brittany. Uh... Let's see if I can get leverage on my liege, though. That'd be kind of dope. I mean, I doubt someone's playing to kill me right now. <laughs> right, guys? No one's plotting to kill their old friend... Yude's music. Of the Robertine dynasty. What makes him so special? Just because he's got all these titles here? What if I plotted to kill him instead? Because this one doesn't look like it's really reliable. To be fully honest with y'all. All right, big, big, big gamble. 17% chance of success. 86% chance that the scheme is discovered. Should I do it? No. No is the answer. I shouldn't do it. But I'm gonna do it. He survived the bite. And I was implicated. Awesome. So now everyone hates me except for this baby. Well, that isn't gonna fly. I don't want to declare war on a king and I do want people to like me more. Okay, I'll increase the opinion of this guy, and what does a murder scheme look like for him? Horrible. Is there anyone I can invite? No, because everyone hates me now, because they know I'm uh, trying to kill people. <laughs> I'm all, all about that killing. Am I deceitful? Yeah, I'm deceitful, so that's cool and all. I guess I just gotta wait it out and hope no more babies appear. Gotta make sure she doesn't have them. Can I murder her? No, I have a bad chance of murdering anyone anymore. I'm just no good at it, folks. But if I can never become independent of my liege, at least I can just do this the old fashioned way. Whoa. Who dat? Blackmail her immediately. I don't know who she is, but we're blackmailing her. Maybe she can help us kill someone. Like my liege. Oh, I can't murder. Because I canceled the murder plot against him. I can't do it again. Who else can I try to murder around here? I already tried with him. I have not tried with him yet. So let's see what the scoop is here. What are the odds? Can I blackmail anyone into joining? Where do you live, Mayor? And can I find secrets there? No. 
blew it all. Pope doesn't like me. Why doesn't the Pope like me, by the way? I'm deceitful, and that's it. I could go on a pilgrimage. I don't have the money for it, but I could. I'm a little bit stressed out. Uh, feast hunt. Uh, I could only really do those. I should only really do those if I need the prestige for something right away. Otherwise, it's a waste of cash money. I don't want to waste my cash money yet. Whoa! Hold up. Something really good just happened. My liege died in battle. Uh. Oh shit. Hell yeah. And he's got no alliances. And I've got an army about the same size as his. But I've got more allies, I hope. My claims. I could just claim the duchy myself. And he'll become my vassal. Now that sounds like a better deal than independence. As long as I can swing it. What are my allies up to? No wars, no wars. No wars. They will all hopefully be able to join me. And I will take the dive and prestige for it. Because that is a worthwhile cost. Call allies to war. You have 215 and you have 922. I'm calling you first. I'm calling Ulm second and then you're uh, a just in case ally over here because you don't because you suck quite frankly and now he lives over there I can probably raise my army without the threat of it being squished Ooh, his army split we are going to take the fuck advantage of that. First, I'm going to cross this river. I will probably win. I better probably win. Yeah, give me that advantage. My brother Hugo died. Task aborted. Allies join war. Brother slain. In battle, right? That was the that was the paradigm shift that I was looking for. My daughter. You are the '90s hits. My injured vassal. That's cool. I don't care. He can be injured. Excellent work, team. We're doing it. And now, what's the scoop with your... Army is so tiny! Oh, yeah. I guess the numbers weren't adjusted yet for his, uh... Tiny little martial skill. We're gonna siege the holy heck out of this man. And hopefully my allies get here soon to make the siege even quicker. Hell yeah. Let's uh, speed up time, because he doesn't have any allies. I'm oh. What? King Charles is being attacked by Alphonse, the peasant revolt. Stay away from my wars, and I'll be okay with that. I don't like my liege that much. He just took Italy. What is this war about, anyway, your peasant's revolt? What are you guys mad about? Whoop, oh, wrong. Okay, <laughs> I'll deal with all that crap later. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got bigger fish frying currently. I can get a claim on 
That? I think I already have one, though. Evro? Yeah, I already have that, so... I don't need it. I might as well take advantage of whatever other benefits there are around here. I don't control that, do I? Oh, he does? Did he just gobble it up right now? That's awesome! More land for me when I win! This one's got a guaranteed result. I might just go for that. That seems like the smarter option right now. And hopefully I just steal this kid from the capital where he resides. Again, the fucked up things you say when playing this game... <laughs> just a consequence of how it, how it is. It's one of those things that's fun to relish in because it's nothing like what you would say in real life. We're doing good. I'm gonna go around the civil war that's happening in my homeland. Just fucking custom route, idiot. No! You don't have to fight the peasants! Let him lose! This is his battle! Okay. Enforce demands. I don't want to hit the wrong button because I know I will. It's my duchy now, idiot man. I'm the duke. I am now a mighty duke! And I'm still in line to inherit titles. Let's take a peek at that, shall we? You still haven't had any kids, that's cool. Now that I'm a duke, I should have a broader reach. So if I wanted to, say, murder my, my family here... Yes, I can convince people <laughs> to help me murder them. Do it. I don't need money. What duke needs money? I'm a mighty duke. And now neither of these wars I inherited, correct? They are my lieges wars. Yeah, I'm just involved in them because he's... I'm here. Now I'm not over my domain limit. Extra cool. Who am I swaying right now? Some guy? Beep. Ooh. County of Nerves? What the heck is this? No, he can, he can keep that. I'm already at my limit. And I will have a big army soon. Or considerable army. I mean, Aquitaine over here is still a big, beefy, scary monster. Sure, try it again. I gained 10 more dread. People hate me more. Whatever. How's my immediate family feel about me? They're fine. It's not my house. It's not my dynasty. Hell yeah, and I'm being invited to go to parties. I tried to murder my brother twice, and I'm still getting invited to parties.
Give me those alliances. Aquatane. No? Why not? He's at war, that's why. Who are you? Sure, let's be friends. I don't need lovers. 80s pop will be betrothed to my son, Conrad. Very cool. Farewell, my brother. County is going to the Italian Catholic populace. What? Why are they attacking him? He wants the kingdom of Italy. I couldn't care less if he wants the kingdom of Italy. Independence faction? Well, that's a scary notion. Who's involved? Italian provinces, but not a significant amount of them. They'll just get gobbled right back up. Not interested, thank you. But, um, hold up a minute. What happened here? Did you just eat each other? Did you just eat middle Francia? East Francia, Loft the Ring Rian. Bavaria, you're next. You gotta look out. He's gonna eat you up alive. What a nightmare. Ah! Oh, the king... Senpai noticed me. I'll be the steward for sure. Am I good at steward? I'm not good at st stewardship. But I'll take the council position anyway. I'm the house head. My wife is Preggers. Pregante. What do we got over here? Mayor wants position. I don't. I could care less. He's got nothing on me. I could declare wars for my claims, but I can only do one claim at a time because the law is not there yet. And then. That's all Garbo. Oh, and that's not good. Who's gonna titles go where? Can't take his titles. I need a limited crown authority or better, and I don't have that because we don't have plenary assemblies. Because my liege really wants to learn how to make military buildings because he's a f fucking dolt. Let's see what else is going on here. You? No children yet? Good. Oh, cool, another kid. Your name is going to be Rock and Roll.
Oh. What happened? Another child? Who had it? You buffoon! There's no way I'm gonna be able to kill this kid. Not that I, I'm into, you know, killing, but... I don't know. Can I? Here's a sadistic option. I'm thinking, can I make my family mandatory knights? My house is of music, but let's see where the... No. I don't care about that. Who are you? I don't care about you. Wait, do I? Oh, I can't do it anyway, because whatever reason. Heck. Um... What is up with this line of succession? You're in the family. The house of Robertine. And. You're not vassalized by me. Can't declare war because I don't have a Cassis belly. Cassis. Belly. Can't invite to court because they're salty about me trying to kill them. Can I seduce them? No. Can I sway them? Yes. I can. Be my friend. I'm sorry I tried to murder you. It's like an apology, you know? It's like an apology, but it's really half-hearted. Someone died, someone died. My brother... Gulf? <laughs> My brother Gulf died? Gulf, what did you do? You ruled Ulm in Lotharingia. 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 Whatever. You know what, I'll focus on myself for now. Best not to worry about stuff that's out of my control. This is out of my control, it looks like. I can't do anything about it except for persuade the Pope to like me more. Or... I don't know. Count Conrad? Who are you? Where do you live? What realm are you a part of? You're still a part of my realm, that's cool. Let's be friends. Oh, hell yeah. Who's your heir? Let me know when you have babies, because uh, I would love to use that hook. Okay, maybe I should start picking apart Neustria. Because then I could... What's the kingdom over here looking like? West Francia? How would I be able to usurp that? Two duchies. 26 counties. And I can't usurp the primary title of my liege.
All right, another kid. What's this kid's name gonna be? Um, what other music am I entitled to? Let's go with metal. No. Screamo. No. Shoe gaze. No. I'm having a hard time here. Let me just look up a list of music genres. Song? Come on, Google. You could do better than that. Folk music is very broad. EDM. Yeah, you'll be EDM. My daughter EDM. Do I have three daughters now? Someone's got to bust my left nut. Chop off my left testicle or whatever they did in the Middle Ages and get me some male heirs here. I have one son. He's my primary heir because France is behind the times. Each alliance grants plus one diplomacy, foreign affairs, effectiveness, title creation cost, ducal conquest. That sounds pretty rad. Quick. Now, who can I declare war on consequentially? Oh, a lot of people. You have very few, but a lot of alliances. Your allies are both in, or one of them's in war, so I'm not really too worried. But I might be in some trouble because I don't have the prestige to justify that. So I'm going to instead notify me when this is available, you fool. Feast, hunt, hunt is cheaper. Yoink. Cool, someone I tried to murder likes me a little bit more. Oh no, and the crusade started. Practice field surgery. <laughs> or I can make him hate me more. Uh, he is my... I, you know, I fucked him over enough times in the past. I don't know who's getting his title next. It's uh, going to be some rando lowborn, I bet. Do I want the plus one or the prestige? I want the prestige. Prestige is important right now. Bam! As long as I don't think about it, I don't feel guilty about it. Whoa, Distortion 2 is streaming. Oh my god. The news is horrible. I shouldn't have even checked. Cool, now I just need 500 more. I would go on a pilgrimage, but that shit's expensive. Also, what's happening with this murder plot? Do it. I'll take a 45% chance, let's, <laughs> let's kill this baby. You know what, let's wait a little bit longer, because I don't want to spend money I don't have. Uh, hmm. I'll take that. Can declare wars on a lot of people. Why is Ducal Conquest so expensive?
sure. Let's pledge ourselves to that. No beneficiary. I'll let the Pope decide what's going on with that. 16 months away, I'll forget, because that time will fly by. That'll be December of 81. Everyone remembers the December of 81. gonna pay money for this keep trying without paying money I need that money to fund my war against someone whose title I'm going to lose eventually because I'm not good enough for it which county do I want which one would destabilize them the most is the question Where is your capitals all the way over here? If I take Rowan, that would destabilize at least the count who's in charge of the most counties here. So I think I'll go ahead for that one. Rowan, declare war. Oh, you're right. I don't think I'll be able to finish it quickly enough with that many counties, so... Heck that. Whatever, I'll take a step back. Can I even maintain Dread? No, my natural Dread is zero, so it's going to keep going back to zero. Yeah, not going to bother with that. Anyone else want to join my plot? Join the party? Join the murder party? It's fun! Okay. I will be happy to put you all to work. Convert, and my people won't be angry about it. Fine, make my sister my beneficiary. No, no beneficiary. I don't know what will happen if I don't have a beneficiary, but also, look at this these odds. They don't look good. <laughs> the, fir the First Crusade is always horrible. Sure, let's try it out. Man, everyone hates me. Oh, someone can marry? My Schwester. Can marry her the 77 year old as long as I declare war quickly enough that'll matter, but I don't think that will. Who would like a matrilineal marriage? No one? Oh my god, I'm so surprised. Sure. Yeah, I know. Wow, cool, yay. I have another ally. Aquitaine still doesn't want to be my friend. Because you're a dirty heathen. Lame. Sh 
sure. But she's not in a matrilineal marriage. That won't even matter. No beneficiary. Heck that. You're not going to win anyway. I know we're going to lose. All right, I'll be right back. Well, shoot. Hell yeah, my glory went up. I'm glorious. People know me. Faction created against Charles II, you say? Independence, you say? It's just, let me guess, more Italians. They're really upset with being conquered. I'm not going to join them, but I will let them do their thing, because I don't really care if he has more bad happen to him. I just want France. I don't want the HRE. Ugh, another person trying to prove they're better than me. Gluttonous, just, and ambitious. Let's just blame them for everything, see what happens. Who knows? It worked! How would you like... Nah, he's... Yeah, I'm okay with him being Jewish, but... Man, I really can't do anything else that's interesting with my hook. What happened? And why is the resolution so wacky? Is it V-Sync? No? I don't know. It's been a little strange. But you know what? That's no big deal. I can deal with it, because at least the character models look big and beautiful. Speed up the time so that something happens. I don't want to go on a pilgrimage till I have the Maoni. Oh, 80s pop music needs a guardian. They want to be a steward. They want to be good with Maoni. I'm not going to address this. Because this is just not... No. But please, raise my... my child. I sure hope this Catholic Great Holy War... ends. I'm not happy about that either. The First Crusade always fails. Always. All these countries are way too wrapped up in inter-fighting to unify against some innocent bystander in the Middle East. King Charles's murder secret? Can I blackmail my liege? Let's try it. Now 
what can I do with that? I will get plus four monies per month. Title Revocation Protected sounds really cool. What else can I do to him? Nothing. Might as well change my contract. Can't do anything about that, can ya? Sure, I'll participate. I'm not doing anything else. Can I declare war, though? I can. You know what? I'll change it to Evro. That seems like a little... easier to maintain. Now, you know what? Fuck that. We're gonna disrupt them as much as possible. already started. I'm not sure how that'll affect things here. But uh, let's see if we can get to the ocean quickly and fly on over. Whoosh. Nope, you're just gonna... Okay. In that case, and this is gonna get moved back to the capital. And y'all just do your thing. With your 200 horses and 10 siege weapons. I can hold a feast though. And I do want to hold a feast. I love to eat. I wanted this to appear as an issue though. I thought it used to do that before some something changed and his molecules got all rearranged. The absolute greatest thing that this game did was make Waz control the map. I will happily do that. Force vassalization. Dude. Now let's land wherever these assholes are landing. Are you going back to sea for what? I'm going over here. I'm gonna... This is always a mistake, but I'm gonna start sieging. You know what else else? I'm gonna make myself the command make myself the commander so that I get the Crusader King perk. Oh no! I don't know what's happening. Who's Ravi? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm confident that this army will be defeatable when my allies arrive. Nope, I was incorrect, of course. I inherited something. I don't want it, though. It's a barony. Oh, that sucks. Robert Camary, what a cutie. Look at you and your big boy clothing. Why am I settling for baronies? What is this boy, an idiot? No, he's kind of beefy. What's the scoop here? We need to make him beefier. Yeah. Who's lacking a guardian? 90s hit music. Intrigue. You want that guy? And then 80s pop, what do you want? Stewardship. I guess I killed your person in battle. Rip. No one here is really good for it. Uh, that sucks. Sorry. And you know what? I'll make my king like me a little bit more. Now what's happening here? Can I anything do right since because pickles? Join me. Allies, this is why we never win a war. Because y'all just, the AI is awful when it comes to coordinating. Yeah, don't worry guys, I'm over here actually doing stuff while y'all are just losing unnecessary battles. I did it. I did something. This seems like a mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Nope, nope, going away from that. Stand far away. Get into the water. No, into the water with you. You fool. That's cool. Oh, and I have a child again. Robert Music. We're gonna call you, uh, Indie. Very broad. I, how did, how did an army of 500 lose to two knights? Yeah, no, get... No, wrong. Go away from the bad guys. We're going to avoid the big ugly fight if we can. And I guess I'm just going to walk right into another army, aren't I? I will probably lose. You know, just chill out here. No, you're going to die anyway. Whatever I do, you're gonna die. Okay. I did my part, Mr. Pope. How do you feel about that? I did 20% of the failing so far. Oh boy, oh boy, oh 
boy. I had to be in friendly land. What's friendly around here? Uh. Fuck it, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Come sail away with me. I'm not losing your wars for you anymore. Heck to that. Come on, boys. Oh, but now we got 8%, and now I want to be a part of it again. Can I recover here? No? Do I gotta go all the way back to Anjou? Well, it's my... I'm still top participant. I'll take that, I'll accept it. I'm sure I won't hold it for long if this war goes anywhere near our favor. Can I, like, stop here? No. I can't even dismiss them in my liege's lands. Rock and roll, you need a guardian. You need to be educated in education. The bishop will take good care of you, I hope. This is Catholicism, so who who knows? Let's hold a feast. Welcome, friends, to the good eating. Me wife? Yeah, we'll let her like me more. I don't want to be too rude to her, because she's been pretty good. She's been nice. Oh no, something happened. We're out of wine, as usual. Yeah, I'll take the small dip to gain a bit of money. No big deal. I got enough prestige to do most things. And still, big net gain. What's happening? Call a hunt? Let's do it. Whoa. 18% chance I die. How's my succession look? Get out of here. I'll look at you later. I lose two titles on succession. I don't think I want that to happen. Let's try it anyway. Hey, I succeeded. I did not die. Hell yes. To that. Uh, I'm still in first. Not by as much a margin as before. I wonder if the Pope even noticed that I just took a short break from the crusade to go hunting in France. Oh, my bro? Yeah, I'll make my bro my beneficiary. Whoa! How are things going over here, mate? What are the odds? We're still pretty even. The odds are even. Oh, I've ranked second now. Who am I behind? 
I can't change the order. Come on now. Okay, you know what? I think I could spare my troops again. And this time, it's for real. We're gonna give them a nice easy go to get all the way over here. And I got enough money to fund their boat trip. Boat trip! Oh, my back. Let's sail away, all the way to the nice distant land of whatever, whatever land. Oh my god, he's old. I need to make sure he gets fucking married so that he has children and they don't lose those titles. But he doesn't want that. That's bad. That bitch better have some children. Or I'll be upsetty spaghetti. So under the current realm authority, I don't think I'll keep those titles. Yeah, boat it up. We discovered barracks. You better discover the next good thing, idiot. Plenary assemblies. Plenary assemblies. Assemble the plans. Come on. Fucking idiot. The Crusader King's memes are right. Your lead, your cultural head will always pick the worst thing. Oh, EDM music needs uh, to be taught stuff. Come on, Bishop. You're on it. Alright, get in there. Go give Jerusalem the old Catholic hello. Yeah, I'm going to repeat that one because it came out of my mouth and now I think it's real funny. This is not going to go well, no matter what. Crusade never goes well, but the AI is particularly stupid in CK3 for whatever reason. Alright, y'all. I'm coming. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Follow me, because I'm the one who knows how to do war better than you dolts. Don't leave. Don't leave me. They're leaving me. Of course they're leaving me. Oh, but half of them are here. Good. Awesome. Let's finish this siege before you do something else. I know it's seven months long, but your attention span should be better than mine. I'm a human. I have a excuse. I, I'm i like, I've got human error built into me. What do you got? No! Don't leave! I'm suffering attrition over here! There's nothing I can do to help you with that shitty battle you've got going on. I... Why? What's happening here? What am I up against? Four soldiers. Do it. You won't. They did. And I won. Well, shoot. 
thankfully this army of 7,000 is ignoring my army of 900. Because holy shit, I would have lost that in a heartbeat. King Charles is an idiot. Hell yeah, oh my god. That was a good siege. I'm rich. I took Jerusalem, I'm a boss. I took Jerusalem with a baby army. An army made of babies. All right, blue people, come help me out this time. Don't, don't fuck around. I got no button to tell you to come here. Because this is not the same as Crusader Kings 2, where you could just control everything. You gotta make it tricky dicky. I got a weak hook on who? My spy master? What can I do with that? I can send him to jail or I can give them the boot. I don't want to do either. Hey, idiot Catholics, come help me. I'm the one that needs help. Oh, sweet. He likes me. He really likes me. I should persuade someone else to start liking me now. And another thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Help. Help. <laughs> They're not gonna help. At least I can ransom people and make some money from this stupid venture that the Pope put me down. Oh, everyone died. Oh, that's horrible. Or I guess they were captured. Dear Lord. Who are you? I'm putting my count... My count? I didn't know I had a count under me. Yeah, ma'am. Sorry, you're fired. Uh, you're not important, so... Go away. Reassign, 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 recruit to court. Yeah, I can afford that now. I could swing a ding it. But holy shit, does this crusade suck ass. Are you happy, Pope? I tried. I tried as best I could, but with your slew of dumbasses out here, there's nothing more I can do. You've just got a bunch of dipshits sieging Alexandria. Why are they doing that when they could be doing literally anything else? Oh no, I'm done with this crusade. I hope it's over soon. I'll get another drink. Who cares? I'll just let the ball roll here.
not bad time, but I doubt it even matters. All right, what did I miss, CK? Nothing? We're still losing this crusade, of course. Crusades are just awful in this game, apparently. I don't know what else to do about them. Unless I'm like, unless I have a hefty army. Well, what's happening over here? Oh no, I'm sick. What? A sick feeling is rising in my stomach. I try to make it back to my chambers, but the door shrinks before my very eyes. What is happening? Suddenly I can smell nothing, something I know. I have smelled before, but where? A servant asked me if I'm all right, and I cannot answer her. I cannot do anything. I... How long was I gone? Someone trying to kill me, because that would suck. I don't want to die. Counselor. Disrupt schemes. Hurry. And you. Oh, I got another claim. Hell yeah. What's that one? Main. I want main. But I'll take Sable. Vastly inferior. Yeah! I don't know what it means when the crusade starts. I'll lose my war. The crusade started like a year, a thousand years ago. Oh god, that's bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, big uh-oh. I mean, I'll probably win. I doubt that very much. I'm possessed? Also, you get out of here because I got something very important to do. Find out which ally can get here the quickest and have the biggest army. Uh, there's the help button. And you too. I will hit the help button. Okay, so I've been possessed by... Oh man, a pretty hefty health penalty. Sudden changes in emotion, awareness, and ability that I lose experience can only be explained by the spirits inhabiting his body. So I've just gone insane. Uh-oh. Lately I've been experiencing some... Episodes. Something comes over me, taking charge of my body and leaves me tired and confused. I have tried to keep it from people, tried to hide it, but it is hard to control something that comes and goes as it pleases. They're looking at me as if I am possessed. And I am. What do you mean probably win? I obviously am gonna lose. It never matters what you say is gonna happen in this situation. It I'm always gonna lose. Why is my stewardship at one? Fuck you. Man, every time I lose a battle in this game, I get really mad because bullshit happens. It's always like a bunch of dumb stuff that I can't control. You gotta go so far away? Come on now. Come on, allies. Where you at? I don't have any stress, so I don't need to worry about that. I heard you're focusing on improving the realm's status with its neighbor's brother. Robert approaches me amicably. I have long taken an interest in these affairs, and I'd be happy to offer you help in gaining Duke Gundiger's <laughs> trust. We are family, after all. You honor me, brother. Friends are good for me. And beep, 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 beep. Yeah, a lot of people died. I get it. I get it. I'm bad at this game. Hello, allies. Nice of you to join me. How quickly? Nine a month? That's not cool. You could do better. better. 
Uh, I'm no longer steward. I'm really upsetty about that, apparently. Okay, so what do I have? I have light cavalry horsemen that are good in plains and drylands. So I want to try to fight these guys in plains. Like that. Ooh. You know what? I'll take a forest fight. Rock on. Now let's go to the capital and fuck shit up. As they say in the homeland. Okay, it's a full staff at the very least. It's not a good staff, but it's a full staff, and I'll take that. It's all been a big misunderstanding. He already likes me enough. I really don't care about this venture any longer. What I need are some friends. Like Aquitaine. I'm not giving up on you. You fucked me over last game. You're going to be my friend in this one. I'm still mad about that. Rip Hugo. Let's get in there. Those are planes. We got a big advantage. Very good. Are you the... Yeah, that's the capital of the county. You know what? If we can help it, I would like to see a different county than the one that I'm taking control of. Because I'm not sure if it directly affects the um, uh, county control situation. But if it does, I would like to uh, work around that. Gonna zoop forward in time. We're losing this crusade, so I don't care anymore about it. I don't even think I get the benefits from losing if I'm in first place. Because I did a lot here. But, uh... You know, there's really nothing to win besides... Piety... Prestige and a little bit of gold. I'll keep my eye on it, though. Sixty-nine percent. Nice. We're gonna go stomp on that army again. Cause it's quicker. It's quicker to stomp on an army than it is to siege a county. And if that can get me higher war score quicker, well that would just be grand. And we'll go for the next county up here. We're going to ravage the entire uh, duchy, is what I plan on doing, if at all possible. Because um, the amount of time it takes to regain control of counties is greater than the amount of time than it takes for a truce to expire. So they will still be disadvantaged after the, the, uh, the truce is over. By the time I can declare war on them again. What's happening here? I can have a best friend? Well, who do I want to be my best friend? None of these guys... Oh, you got a lot of titles there. Conrad. Conrad is my best friend. 
And that's why I will make him nothing. He's just my best friend. That's an honor in and of itself, isn't it, Conrad? Aren't you honored? Yeah, I'll have another feast. Insular Christianity. I do like insular Christ insular Christianity. We got a huge Cathar population around me. Catholicism is predominant throughout France, of course, but you know, someday it won't be. But that's like an EU4 situation where it won't be. the fervor of Catholicism. It's pretty weak. And Insular is uh, pretty high. No. I don't want to crusade against me. I don't want to be at a disadvantage there. Indie music is into stewardship. So indie music will get nothing <laughs> again. I have nobody in my court that can help with this situation. This sucks. I'll put it in my sister-in-law's care. Yeah, let's do it. You know what? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take credit for someone else's doings. And this is always a good buff here. Plus Diplo and plus learning. Just for having a conversation with someone. I don't need to be friends with my wife. <laughs> Because what I really want is the eager reveler trait here. I didn't even see you in here. Hello, welcome. It's the same shit you've seen over and over again. I'm not as incredibly like quick with this game as I am with CK2, but I, I'm more inclined to explain what's going on because uh, this is a newer game after all. Right now I'm losing, or I'm sorry, the Pope is losing a crusade against Jerusalem, go figure, which I participated in pretty well. I'm over here, I'm in first place with 13% participation. And the AI is just, God, the AI is stupid when it comes to crusades and wars in general. Oh, damn. My daughter is really, oh, Travis, get this. Uh, this time I decided my house is gonna be the house of music, or rather house music. So like, you know, it's, it's generic house music. Uh, my si my first child's name is 80s pop and then we also have rock and roll here EDM and uh, indie music 90s hit music so 80s pop music came of age and she's pretty good with uh, stewardship despite having an awful upbringing that's cool and I got her a matrilineal marriage so let's see if we can get them to start getting it on quickly So yeah, AI is horrible at uh, alliances and, uh, you know, joint wars if, if they are trying to win and they have a whole bunch of allies. They're fucking awful with it. So fuck the crusade. Hopefully I can get a little bit of credit for it. You know, the Pope will pay me a little bit for my, my time and patience.
because now I'm just trying to rip apart what is known as Normandy to the rest of the world, but for some reason the duchy has a different name here. The duchy is called um, New Neustria. Apparently I was born with a whole bunch of claims to these uh, counties, but not the duchy itself. So while this crusade is failing, I decided why not, you know, tear it to shreds. To shreds, you say. And now my bishop is trying to prove he's more powerful than me by talking over me at uh, council table. He's trying to make quick jabs. He's getting bolder. He's testing my limits. And now I'm going to prove that I'm more capable than him at, at brain stuff. He's a craven. He's forgiving. He's sadistic. And his personality type is an evil craven. So if I mock him, I'm sure he'll just shut up. Oh no, he stopped endorsing me altogether. So that sucks. That's pretty bad. That just means that the Catholic Church does not approve of me within my own domain. But that's okay, because the Pope likes me. The Pope likes me a lot. Look at this. I'm deceitful, but... I'm doing, I did most of the work in this crusade so far. So what's he got on me? Nothing, that's what he's got. All right, I am doing this in the most roundabout way possible. Uh, I did explain it earlier, but I'll say it again, Bones, in case... Oh, well, I mean, it says that you're not here anymore, but whatever. Yeah, it just likes to lie and tell me how many people are, are watching or not. Um, I am doing this war very roundabout because you get a very high war score for taking control of the objective itself. I'm going to not take the objective itself just to see if I won't lose control of it when it becomes mine. And also so that I can ravage this Duke's other counties so that when I do declare war on him again, uh, they will all be very, very uh, ripped to shreds, so to say. Uh, his taxes will be lower, his levies will be lower, he will basically be less inclined to defend himself the next time I declare war on him. After five years, when the truce is over, he will be uh, in, a t in an awful state, so to say. It will be really easy for me to win future wars. So basically, this is a war of attrition. I'm going to, um, you know, wreck all of his holdings and his taxes, his income... So that the next time I declare war on him, it'll be easier to win. And this should be it right here. Enforce demands, so be it. And Sable is mine. I'm going to stand down my army after bringing them over here. Let's see if my experiment went pretty well, actually. The county control usually plummets to about 60 if you siege it and take it by force. So this is a lot easier. I mean, the war took fucking ages, but, you know, next time I might take it by force, but I do need to have uh, pretty high taxes and levy count to be able to make up for, um, you know, to keep, keep on the defense. If there's anyone else watching, I'd love to hear from you, because my thing says that there's only one viewer, and uh, of course that's me. I did capture, ooh, ooh, hello. Who are you and what do you control? What is your title? You control, boy. Oh my God, you're so old and so good. Nah, uh, you're pretty terrible at what you do, but it doesn't really matter. Eventually you'll be uh, better. If you keep at it, you can learn. 
We could call a hunt soon. Hopefully the Pope will decide that the war is over and we lost. So that I can get rid of these two icons down here. I don't really know if being in a crusade affects anything else. But I'm tired of having that crusade icon down there and quote-unquote being at war. So 90s hit music. Let's set you up with a good old-fashioned Lordship of Gwen. Nah, that's pretty bad. What's that over there? God, it really wants to set me up with the British Isles, but I don't really give a shit about the British Isles. What I want is my family to be big. By big, I mean, like... <laughs> I want a big family. <laughs> like, like, big. Like, the size of them is huge. Honk! I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there's a beeping outside. Amazonian. Let's see... You know what, big 48-year-old man? Bang my daughter and make my grandchildren huge. I don't care that I get no titles in it. I am going to do this all on my own. Excellent! My daughter is married. So I'm going for uh, eugenics here. Not that I support eugenics. This is a game. None of the shit that I do in this game I would advocate in real life, because this is a game where you basically try to be as horrible a person as possible. Okay. Okay. I kind of like lost my attention for a second there. Or what's going on here? Tourney troubles. As Duke, I have been obligated to attend a local jousting tournament, but the other contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. My bishop, Gills? Giles? I'll say Giles because, you know, Buffy. Giles is here. Giles is here. I always wanted to be an insufferable loud. I, his constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable than normal. On the other hand, this could be a good opportunity to eavesdrop on the conversation of the under attendees. Okay, cool. So it's like a a little, uh, whatchamacallit, intrigue check. He could be talking some shit that I want to hear. Discover a random secret inside the realm or I could lose some stress. I have 20 stress. I'm not too concerned about that right now. Or I can make him my rival, and I don't see it being any kind of beneficial to have my bishop uh, not like me when already my... <laughs> like, this, the, the church already fucking hates me, so I, I'm just gonna find out if he has a secret instead. And I'm excited because... The crusade looks like we almost completely failed, and I would really be happy for that to be over. I'm in second now, but I don't give a shit. Because that crusade sucked. The first crusade always sucks. Let's get it over with. Come on now. Do a trick. 
Oh, and how long until I can declare war on this bitch again? 896. All right, so three more years. Not a big deal. What's the war? Hello? Oh. Okay. Lotharingia is trying to claim the throne of France. And France is fucking beefy. I don't see that happening, but we're losing because the AI is awful at war. Naturally. Oh great, I got the lurk spot. What's happening? What? Oh, it's the crusade. Yeah, I know. We lost to Christianity. Big deal. Oh, my God. I did fine. It was a mistake to declare this war in the first place, you idiot Pope Benedictus. Who did I pin again? I don't understand why. Who are you? Oh, yeah, I can afford the prestige now. Oh, boy, I got a lot going on up here. Okay, I need... I have one more thing that I need. County of Sable. You know what? I can give that to one of my many, many, many children. I can afford vassals now, because I'm a duke! None of my children have fecund. I don't like that one bit. Oh, hello. I wish I could give you a title, ma'am, because you're already priggers, and that's cool. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. Is that part of Angio? Yeah, it is. Um, what's outside of the realm? We got Barry over here. Terrain. Okay, I can give away terrain. That's no big deal. Again, I, I apologize for my disgusting American dialect when it comes to pronouncing uh, French provinces. I could go on a pilgrimage, but first, let's become better at diplomacy. Second, give away terrain to... My daughter, well actually my daughter's husband, so that it can go to his children who are matrilineally blah, 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 gonna be mine. I can't. Well these guys are out of my domain, so. Which one's the shittiest of the bunch? It would be Vendome. I'll give it to my youngest son, actually, because... Wait, no. No. And going with my original gut reaction, because this is still very patrilineal... Wait, is that the right word? God. I'm so out of it since I haven't been sleeping well. Give it to that guy. That way my kids will inherit it. Holy shit, that's a good steward. Hell yeah. Get me them taxes, idiot! I could sure use that money. What faction? Peasants? Angry? Sure! I didn't even know I had people to ransom. Who's angry? Peasants of Sable. Catholicism is hostile. Oh, they're Cathars. No, that's disgusting. 
Get your cathars out of my Catholicism. Get your chocolate out of my peanut butter. Convert them. Ten years left? You suck. And what's happening here? The Catholic world was appalled to learn that Pope Benedictus himself had been keeping a list of all who have ever wronged him, detailing numerous ways he planned on getting back to them and satisfy his lust for revenge. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, many are aghast that the head of our faith would succumb to such temptations. Yeah, I'll condemn him. Or should I? I don't know if you can afford... Yeah, I'll defend him. I want the Pope to be on my side. Hopefully he won't, like, die immediately, and I took that fall for nothing. But his health is pretty good, and no one seems to be plotting to kill him. So, uh... We'll see about that. Whoops. I need more knights. I need one more knights. You know what? I can afford to call for knights now. Ooh, free alliances. Yes. Free help and defensive wars is what I hear. And you are considerable in my wing wang. So I think if I could find a place for you, I will. But not yet. Because there are people better than you who are still alive. Unless you're better than this marshal. You are better than this marshal. Yeah. Fire him. I don't care what you do with your 77 boyos. Ow! And I keep forgetting. I need to invite the guests in. What's this? Might leave my court... We'll stay if she's given a reason. So there's employment as a knight or a counselor. She's an awful knight. Prowess of three. Oh, and you're fucking cool. But you're expensive. What do you have claims to anyway? Kent? I don't care about you. Go away. Competent schemer. 13 intrigue. You're 10 bucks. Yeah, I'll take you in. 25 for you and you are par for the course sure you can join too join the party Araka yeah you yeah, is not a big expense if you just happen to want to leave anyway which is what I'm picking up council Baron Robert By master count count baron okay i want to keep the important or i'm sorry the influential people on my staff um one more year until i could declare war again so that's pretty cool rock music gains astute intellectual you know what i'll take it that's pretty good rock and roll music you've done good they grow up so fast Ugh. oh right we're gonna have a big beefy family we're going for a big, big family. Big family. And you know what? I can construct a building. And I think I will. Let's make a duchy building, first of all. I learned from my first playthrough that it's pretty important to be able to afford your men-at-arms. I would really like that. Defender advantage supply on at fort level. No. Siege weapon effectiveness. Meh. I have cavalry, and I would like my men-at-arms to be less expensive. So we're 
going, uh... Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can't afford any of this shit because the culture hasn't been found. Okay. How about at the next level? Nope. My last game I started at 1066. I was spoiled. And here I am. Once again, I'm torn into pieces. Let's just start making more money. Spend all my money to make money. It's like investing, but instead of all the money funneling to the top, uh, hopefully it'll actually trickle down. Hey, oh, I got control of my counties again. I guess these are part of my domain as well, so I'm gonna make sure that they're they, they stay that way. Why am I saying domain weird? Because that's the way uh, Google told me to say it. Suede, suede, alliance expired. Boo hoo, you guys are crying. All right. What's wrong, Bishop? 51 years left because Catholicism sucks. Okay, that's fair. Fervor's 10? I'm almost inclined to make my own faith now. What do I got, 45? How much does it cost to make a new one? 2,000. I can't do that. Let's be a diplomat. Diplomats are good at diplomacy. <laughs> Independent ruler opinion and personal scheme power. Nice. If I remember correctly, the next thing I want to do is family hierarchy. And then August. August. And you know what? I have enough children. I don't need that fertility buff anymore. Uh, oh, sweet. Can I declare war yet? Not until May. EDM comes of age. She is meh. Give me a good alliance. No valid characters found. Suck it. Wait. It's because I still got a thing. Woo, yeah. That's a good alliance right there. Can I make a faction against my liege claiming something big like the kingdom for myself? Because that'd be really cool. That'd be like a quick, easy win for this achievement. My half-brother and best friend. My half-sister. That's my house, isn't it? My family and dynasty. Yes, it is! The kingdom of West Francia. Let's see what happens. Okay. She promised to reward me handsomely. I can't force anyone to join the faction. This is my first time actually trying to use this mechanic, so I don't really know. Uh, oh, May already passed, so I can declare war on these guys again. First, I'm going to hit the bathroom, because you know what? No one's here. It doesn't matter.
got all this mail. I don't want to go through yet. That's all I want to do right now. Is uh, declare war on this idiot. What's my next claim going to be? Mains. Yeah, sure. Vastly inferior. <laughs> Are my allies unoccupied? This guy is for sure. So we'll ask Savoy and Balaton. I feel like an idiot whenever I pronounce things. Who wants? No, fuck you. Call to war and call to war. This is what I got all the prestige for. And now... Yeah, we're gonna raise them over here just to be safe. Good job! Excellent! Da -da -da. You know, I do like the at war me. Oh no, that's a lot of baddies. Let's take a chill pill over here for a second while our allies congregate. Cool. That is more than them. And yes, we're under siege. Hopefully, our other allies will join us quickly and soonly. What? Faction? No. Sable. Popular opinion. Catharism is pretty strange. I don't like that. Come catch up with me, idiot. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? What is happening? Just come on. They're winning the war. Help me out, ally. You idiot. What is, why are you, what is, what, why are you doing that? I cannot deal with this. You need to help me. I will not accept anything less. Why is the AI like that? Just come here. Look, just, all I need from you is a simple follow the leader. Do you know how to do that? Do you? Okay, we did scare them away from the capital, that's good. This ally seems far more competent because they are actually committing to a direction. Duchy of Savoy, you can suck whatever you want. Suck something. Just suck it. Okay. I gained a stress level. Why? My sister died. My brother died. They both died incidentally at the same time. Like a month apart, for completely natural reasons. Now I'll take the, the stress. Because something tells me I'll be able to do something about it soon. Uh, no. 
Hello? Why? I don't know why that's ever available, to be honest. Maybe it's because I'm possessed. Usually in CK2, it would only happen if you're depressed or if you're, like, really old. I heard good things about you. I'm interested in starting a written conversation. I hope this letter finds you willing. For I am awaiting your swift reply. Oh, I always love making friends. Who are you? Oh my god. You're a duke of four different duchies. That's insane. Let's be friends. And also, I'm gonna like split my army in half or something. I don't know. All right, he's looking forward to talking some more. That means we could be friends. Hopefully, he's a crusader. Neat. Uh, he's vengeful, zealous, ambitious, and a zealot antagonist. Why is he a zealot antagonist? He's vengeful, I guess. Let's talk about God. Oh, a trade deal? I haven't gotten that one. Ugh, that's not that good, actually. Get a weak hook on him. I'm not going to do anything with it. So let's try to be friends. Hell yeah. I will probably win. Alright, so what's the scoop of this peasant's revolt? Let's, um... Assess the situation before making a decision. Military power is 52% of mine. Never! Let's go fight them. Get hecked, peasants. I'm the best. Darn, I failed at whatever I was trying to do before I remembered what it was. Locals are pacified, that's nice. Available perks. I want to be... Oh yeah, let's make my friends, my children better. see what happened all right 80s pop got one stewardship 90s hits got one entry rock and roll got two learning EDM got one learning indie music got three stewardship cool stuff where was I Oh, yeah, let's take the uh, contested title this time. Continue with the experiment. Hey, I'm breaking even now. Good job, me, with the taxes and stuff. 
speaking of the taxes and stuff, as Duke, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? There's no point in me gaining dread. And my king already likes me enough. I'm just going to be nice to my people. I don't want white peace. Fuck off. I'm winning. Whoa, hold up. That was conversion fervor. So... Oh my god. You suck so much at converting people. Cool, good battle. Very good. I can declare more wars, call more allies, or just deal with it like I intend to do. Just dealing with it. I'm gonna speed up time. There's no reason to draw this out. Take a peek. They're just dawdling. And they lost because my ally captured them. Excellent. No, no, incorrect. There we go. Enforce demands. Disband all. Watch those taxes go up. Ain't that nice. And I'm up my domain limit. What do I do? Oh my gosh. I guess I'll have to give it off to someone else. Not her. My primary heir is that guy. Well, hopefully I'll be gaining those titles. That'd be pretty nifty. Other than that, I guess this child here, Indie Music, you will get... Alan Con. The best convention ever. <laughs> convention for Allens. I could go on a pilgrimage, but I don't think I want to do that yet. Also, give me more taxes. And be my ally. And Sable needs... <laughs> of course it does. Sable is not controlled yet. Now there's Alan Khan, but you know what? I'm sure... Oh, gosh. Sure. Whatever's going on, I'll help you out. I'll at least say I'll help you out. Savoy. Nah, you got this. Not a lot going on around here. You know what? I'll just chill out for a little bit. Let my money go back up. And if I can, call a hunt or something to relax. My stress level is so high. And people love rebelling against my liege. Someone wants the kingdom of Italy and they are... 
not related to me, so I don't care. Independence. I also don't care. So what's happening here? Poachers. People will hate me. Or I can learn to poach. I'm just going to learn to poach. Teach me your ways. Teach me the ways of your people. Neato! And I'm a novice hunter. And uh, someone wants me to help them with a war. Who are you? Blood. Some guy... Some kind of bus? Sure. Go away that. I'll help you. Popo. I don't know anything about you, but I'll help you out, I think. Maybe. Bean. Where am I? Here I am. Okay, I'll help you out if you need it. Again. If you need it. Any other decisions I can make? I can still kill myself, but I don't want to do that. That's a bad idea. Invite claim immense, but um, it's going to take a while until I can snatch this kingdom. And I need a kingdom over a duchy. This guy's got three kingdoms. It's going to be really hard to... What happened? I lost three? Alliances? Four? Hello? Whatever, they weren't important anyway. I didn't need them. Whatever, they weren't important anyway. I didn't need them. I don't need any alliances. I do need alliances, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I'll help you. Everyone else is in the positive, so I'm not worried. I really wish my cultural head would do something relevant. Not city planning, maybe plenary assemblies, that one, so that we can raise crown authority. All of us together in collective, that'd be awesome. I'd love to have more authority over my constituents, my friends, my pals, my counts. Anyway, what's going on here? I, uh, three more years until I can declare war again. On them. Is this... I can declare wars, but this is all going to be like bullshit wars, like ones I can't afford, ducal conquests. I can get one, but what's that going to be worth? <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah, it's worth it. Let's do it. Might as well call me fickle. I don't even need allies for this one. Let's get in there. Yep, we're just going for it. Get about everything. Hey, oh, I love this event. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are! 
I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to... Aethelbur. I'm going with Aethelbur. Aethelbur. When she interrupts me, let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. So who needs lessons? My steward? No. My spy master? Maybe. Or my bishop? Yeah, my bishop needs some help. Oh, my bishop is a lot better now. Still sucks, but you know. Whatever. I can't I can't change the bishop in Catholicism, so. We'll do what we can. The friend scheme. Activate. Indy comes of age. Good old Indy. And he's pretty alright. Considering how small a domain we started with, he's pretty all right. No. Maybe. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's take some lands away from the Carlings. Why not? Small risk of inbreeding. Nah, not gonna go with that. Sorry. You know what? Let's get some good genes in here. Not a lot of options there. It's 24. Okay, we'll go for that. Who's under siege? Not cool, man. Oh, they gave up. And I won. So be it. I'll take some more alliances, thank you. Lawfully imprison her for now. I don't care. I don't care yet. Wait. Okay, I'm just an ally in all these. That's no big deal. I could drop my army without major reason for concern. And now... Marvelous news. Yeah, increase control in county where I have zero control, please. Marvelous news! I can declare more wars. Let me just uh, point more vassals first of all. Like this guy. He's my vassal. I'm gonna give him another title because he's got children. There we go. And I think it'll get split among them. I hope. 
That's my real dream here, is that there's some, some equality. I should be able to declare war on that guy again. Soon. I was just declaring other wars to pass the time. You know, as you do in the Middle Ages. Gosh darn religious problems. What are you up to, Barry? Can I declare war on you? Ducal conquest of Barry? I don't have the thing for that. But you know what I could do? Oh, you only got 28 years now? And how long would that take? I don't know! Monthly progress is plus 20? Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Nine months? Sure, hopefully I'll have the money by the time he's done. Let's just blast through this year. Oh my god, Mr. Pope. I'm gonna think about it this time because you suck at declaring wars. You're just a big old ding dong. What's happening? Okay. Dear you promised me aid in the provincial claim. I'll send... My troops immediately! He called me out on my bullshit, and I respect him for that. Let's get over there! Get marching. Ha! Cool. Come here. Follow me. I'll lead you to victory, idiots. I'll send my troops to help you, too. Where do you live? All the way over there? Yeah, I'll do that. Whoa! <laughs> I was not expecting that to appear there. Who are you? I need the prestige. Sorry. Mm. I don't think I have the money yet, so I'm just going to chill for a bit. Five more months. I think he should be done in another nine. He's just having children every nine months. His child is the claim on the county. And I want to help out over there, but I can't get my troops over there because this guy's in the way. No matter what, he's just going to stomp on him. Who are you? Why am I in so many wars? What did I say yes to all this? Okay. Let's get in there. I'm here to help you guys. Then I'm helping those guys, then I'm helping those guys. Ain't no one's gonna tell me that I'm... Don't keep my word. 
because I'm a man of it. I'll be there eventually, guys. Except for these guys, these guys are going somewhere else. They're going up here. Cool. Splitting everything up just to make it more stressful for me. Whoa, I hit something. What happened? What did I do? Okay, I told him no. Oh my god, you're gonna travel right through this hostile army, you idiots. Go around it. How about you guys? Are you going right into death? Probably. No. No! <laughs> Pathfinding is so bad! Come on, quickly! Travel over those mountains. You've seen mountains before. You know what they're all about. I want to maintain my alliances, please. I'm not going to imprison her with less than an 80% chance of success. What do you want? You're cynical, stubborn, and patient. I don't know, I'll mock you. I did it. It doesn't do a lot for me, but in case I need it, I have it. Whoa! I'll take the minus the stress debuff here. I have two friends. That might help out a little bit. I wish I could see... Oh! Which one are you? Sorry. I thought I got there in time, but I didn't. No! <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard to split my attention like that. I swear, that's where their army was before. God! Sure! Alright, Sawbones, get in here. Do what is necessary. Good work, you've made my symptoms less bad. Gosh, what's happening here? See it done? I can't afford it. No, I cannot. Heck, all of this. I'm done with your wars. You guys all suck. I'm losing money. Who can I love? I don't care. Who's... What? New king? Nito. Goodbye imprisonment. Goodbye defeat. Hello council position. Um... Oh yeah, you'd be a far better steward than you are spy master. And I'll take that one. Very good. Now what's the scoop with this new king we've got? King Louis the third, the second. Nothing wrong with the Louis. Everyone loves the Louis. Ah! I don't want these bad traits. Sure. Oh, okay, that's pretty bad there. Ow. 
At least I'm no longer stressed out. But I am a familiar kinslayer and a murderer, so everyone hates me. Wait, 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 who defeated me now? I'm already retreating. Oh my god. War is so stupid in this game. At least I'm not sick anymore, but dear lord. Just let me stop having an army active already. All I want to do is disband. My war contribution is 100, which is 100%. That's terrible. That's cool. Will my culture discover the thing that matters next? I don't think so. Nope. It's Mots. They want to discover Mots. Yeah, I get it. You guys suck at war. No, I can't afford that shit, you idiot. You know what? Just stop for a little while. I'm never gonna be able to afford that in your lifetime. Nothing against you, but I just don't think you're gonna live that long. Oh my god. Let me just slow down time a little bit. This is getting overwhelming. I am a generous liege. I am a generous liege. What's this crusade now? You guys losing again? Yeah, you are. I'm glad I didn't partake in that. You fools. Oh, I'd make an amazing chancellor. Thank you, king. King noticed me. Yeah, I'll keep making that joke. Senpai Louis the second noticed me. Dynasty head? I didn't even notice! Shit, I could have done so much cool stuff. I could have renamed our dynasty. I'm the house head. I'm not the dynasty head anymore. Fuck. Oh my god. And we're so close to getting a new level of splendor and legacy. I'm pissed. Shit. Sure, I'll imprison someone for free. Oh my god. Alright, what's next for us in the world of this? This is not easy. I'm having a rough time, bud. I got 378 prestige. I can call it one or two allies in. Do I even have allies anymore? I have three. But I can't call any of them in. I can call dynasty members, but they suck. I don't need allies for what I'm doing. Justice. Can I ransom you for money? 
I need it. <laughs> to fund my war. Big battle rolls, you idiot. Keep rolling zeros. Oh my god, yeah, I know. Control's low there. I'm not gonna call in any house members. Oh, this guy definitely needs to be on my council somewhere. Please stay happy with me. I need your support for my wars. My lust for power. My lust for achievements. Yay! Our dynasty's a little bit cooler. I can't wait to be the head of the dynasty again. I know it's gonna happen soon, because apparently I just lost it to this bitch. This prick. They're distinguished. I'm illustrious! Come on now! Is it just because they have more prestige? Because I have a higher level of fame. I'm learning the mechanics here, game. I know that that should matter. Get fucked, idiots. I got the bigger army, and I'm faster. Siege view. The most important view. I apparently demolished their army completely. Speaking of, can I... Blah. Oh my gosh. Close family? Like me more. First of all. Second of all, uh, can I ransom anyone? Yeah. That idiot. Take him back. Pay me. Call a hunt. I'll take another hunting trophy. Yeah, give me the prestige. I want to be the leader of the dynasty. I want to rename it. This is my dynasty. Achievements are still enabled. Hell yeah. I did it. What's that, another army for me to step on? Yeah, I'll do it. I got four prestige! <laughs> Amazing! At least this here guy likes me a little bit more. He's forgiven me for not, uh... For killing my family and also killing my family and being deceitful and killing my family. That's cool. I appreciate that that kind of forgiveness because uh I'm gonna kill my family a lot. Uh, I I just predict it's gonna be so. Well it's nice to see you two bots are here with me. That's pretty cool. At least I got two viewers, and they both happen to be, uh, not people, but, you know, I'll take it. Alright. There's, like, three things left. Please pick the right thing, king. Yes! Finally! Finally, my king picked the right thing, my... Oh, hell yeah! Give me all the prestige!
Who are you? Let's be friends. I don't need the prestige right now. Because you know what else else? I'm going to let this uh, siege end before I declare my victory. What are you like? You're an atheist who's dishonorable. Cynical, arrogant, and paranoid. Mm, let's talk about gossip. Poison seems a bit too upfront. Hell yeah. Yay, I got four dollars. Now we can end the war. It was all worth it for that four dollars. Control zero here? Heck. Sable's at 94. His student is at 64. If I remove my counselor, it'll keep going up at about 0.4 per month. Whereas, it'll be going up at Point one over here. I think it's a little bit more important to uh... Yeah, take care of that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. And uh I still can't afford to go on a pilgrimage, so no. Confess! No, I already confessed way too much in my lifetime. Since the moment I was born, I was sinning, so I'm going to stop. What? My wife made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night, I struggled to keep her off my mind. The feelings smolder between us, but soon either burst into flames or die out. I would love for my wife to become my lover. That's adorable. That is a little to little, very uh, seldom told story in the Middle Ages. So I'm gonna go with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are the other options? Just bang. She's scheming to seduce me. Oh my god, I must be an awful husband. <laughs> if she's scheming to seduce me. Yeah, please, let's go with this. Let's become soulmates while we're at it, please. That's the cutest thing in this game. Romance. I don't know, I think anything will work here. What is she like? Gluttony, arbitrary, arrogant. Uh, poem. I could have another feast, but I don't need to. What's happening here? He already likes me. I don't need that. Go away. I know Evro is suffering. I'm trying to fix it. All it's going to do is take time. Also, I need to give this title out to someone, and I should have... Oh, you've got a lot of kids. That's good. This child here is getting a title. So that your heir is now your granddaughter. I'm getting the hang of this. Now, how many vassals can I have? 
20. Rad. This game is OP. Romance, unpleasant, <laughs> unpleasant pleasantries. I'm attending a dance in Angers to, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'm going to go with it anyway, to spend some more time with my wife. The mere thought of touching hands makes my heart jump. Aww. But when I arrive, I find her stuck in conversation with Countess Felicia Urbino. I think Urbino is a pretty bad name. Isn't that an Italian one? The abhorrent woman drones on and on, totally oblivious to my wife's discomfort. My charms will improve this. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really excited to fall in love with my wife in this game. Four more years so I could declare war on those bitches again. What's going on over here? Oh my god, no, I don't want to declare that war. Everyone wants to be my friend, and I'm just going to hang up their, their letters on the walls because I'm so proud. Okay, Barry. Can I declare war on Barry? Is that the one I just tried to do? No, we're pretty neck and neck. And the king is powerful because he's the king of also Italy. And that's very uncomfortable. Whoa, okay. What's going on here? By God, my wife is an unsufferable doxy. Have you seen how she immediately stops listening? Ridiculous. My son-in-law throws his head back in a wicked laugh. Aethel Burr is still conversing with her friends, but I can tell she hurt him. I hate to see her hurt. I could fight my son-in-law for her honor. You should apologize to the lady. Or I could just be good about it. I want him to apologize because he's being a bitch. Act of heroism. Apologize. Hell yeah. Big wins. And I can declare a lot of wars. I don't feel like doing that right now. You know what? Okay, let's see what you got for me. Yeah! My wife is my soulmate. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, what's going on here? I can declare war on this dipstick. Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that's horrible. The moment we become soulmates, my wife dies. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. No, no war time. No. I have to mourn. And by mourn, I mean do the medieval thing and get immediately married again. I'll give a little bit more thought to it than just clicking on the most beautiful person. Got some good jeans in here. Come on. Uh, 
Amazonian, also known as Herculean. Let's go for it. All right, morning period over. I'm still upsetty about that. That's really not cool. All right, I have about a thousand. They have about a thousand. That's similar. I don't like those odds. Orleans, they have far more. East Francia, that's so far away. I'm not going to do that. Zurich, no. No. Burgundy. No, I think it's worth waiting. Oh, my heck. It's been such a drag. It's just dragging along slowly trying to get the ball rolling still upset that my wife and soulmate died the moment I professed my love to her that's just, just so tragic how long until I can declare war on Neustria again Three more years. It's always three more years since when I check. And my piety is so low! Oh my god. I need to go on a pilgrimage or something. Let's see if I can afford it. Let's go to the Vatican! It's time to depart, and let's check our religion real quick. Catholicism's strong everywhere. Weakening here? What's going on? Germanic around here. Pilgrimage. We're lost! I could have sworn that this was supposed to be the path onwards, so none of my companions, nor I, have managed to find our way back to the pilgrimage route. Are we even looking at the right stars at night? It feels as if we've been wasting weeks. Get lost for five years with a severe health penalty. Nope, I'll take the month or two in debt instead. That seems a lot less severe. Ah, minus zero. Not a big deal. I will take that because it doesn't seem to me very consequential at the moment. Okay. <laughs> All roads lead to Rome. Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. Some follow the uh, Via Francigena. Others take the less well-known paths that I guess don't have names. In the end, we all converge here at St. Peter's Basilica, where the great man himself was put to rest. Standing here with the other pilgrims, I sense a feeling of solemn unity and fellowship shared among the gathered all having overcome various trials and tributations along the journey. I have walked the holy path! That's it. That was pretty anticlimactic, to be honest. But, uh... At least, you know, the Pope likes me a little bit more, and Catholicism favors me some more than before. This is an acceptable fate. <laughs> And it's good to be home. Nothing weird happened on the way back. Also cool. And I have six dollars and I can declare a bunch of wars, but I won't be able to afford them for a hot minute, so I'm just gonna sit on this this bounty of wealth until I can do something about it. Probably until 9-10 when I can 
declare war on Neustria again. To keep just chipping away at their their uh, duchy. He's really having a hard time. Since I declared all those wars in the past, their control has been close to 30, 0, 23. They're not doing too hot. <laughs> I've been giving them a real rough time. I feel kind of bad, but that's how we get the achievement progress that we want. We gotta get, we gotta become king of France. France is that big, and we're that big. Actually, how far are we in our in our quest? I need two duchies. I'm not gonna make the second one until I have primogeniture or something. I have 11 out of 26 counties. That's the important number right there. As long as I have one duchy, I can keep all the counties as vassals. Then I'm going to need to declare independence somehow. I can only hope for a civil war. In the game. My wife's pregnant. That's cool. Maybe I'll have like a really strong child. I have a bunch of children already, but they're pretty uh, genetically unimpressive. Which is all very awkward stuff to talk about, to be fully honest, because uh, it sounds like eugenics, and that's a hot topic these days, and has been for the past, I guess, 70 years, 80 years, but I gotta keep reiterating that this is just how I'm playing the game, and this in no way reflects my real values. It's what an awful world we live in right now. So what escapism is for, am I right? Through downcast lashes as my eyes meet Countess Bertha Fleds for what feels like the 20th time tonight, I know that I'm not imagining things. Even from the other end of the table, I, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. She wants me, and I can feel my body responding. Awakening! But Count Indy... <laughs> my son Indy Music... Uh, her husband and my son is also here tonight. No way am I gonna bang my son's wife. Or should I? I definitely need the piety. What's my character? I'm deceitful, calm, and impatient. So it would definitely be in my character's nature to bang his son's wife. Let's see what wackiness this ensues. Afterwards, she falls to a mattress with a thump, her breath ragged, and her eyes half closed. Oh, I wipe the sweat from her chest with my gentle fingers. Merely a moment later... Bertha Fled pushes my hand away with an apologetic smile. It's nearly morning. I better leave. So, chance that she becomes my lover. Chance that she thinks I'm too clingy and hex off. And she's my lover. Naturally. I'm banging my son's wife. Poor guy. It's not rock and roll. It's Indy. Indy's wife. No big deal, he'll forgive me someday. He actually doesn't know, but I'm sure he'll find out knowing my luck. What's the point of Crusader Kings if not to make monstrous mistakes and terrible choices just for the shiggles? Let's speed up time a little bit because things are going a bit slow. I inherited the barony again. Every baron I give this title to is just not having children. Oh, I don't care whose child it is. It's either my son's or mine, and either way, it's in my dynasty. Hey-oh! 
Got a very strong child here. She's got a fantastic uh, congenital trait, Herculean. Prowess of plus eight, huge health boost, and huge attraction boost. What should his name be? It's got to be a pun on music somehow. What kind of music does everyone like? Everyone likes pop music. That's just in the name. I call him Pop. Little, little Pop. So his name is Pop Music. I really want to be the dynasty head. I need to change the name of this dynasty to be another play on words. But right now it's just raw routine. Boring. Okay, it's so not until March of next year that I'll be able to... Oh, gosh. Indy, what happened? He died in a hunting accident. Oh, my God. That's so tragic. Oh, my God. What a tragic turn. That's, that's a very, like, soap opera turn of events. I start banging his wife, and then he dies by some complete coincidence out in the woods when he's hunting a stag. If only I had some kind of a religion that would allow her to be my second wife or my concubine. But no. I got boring old Catholicism like the rest of uh, Central Europe. Catholicism's failing in the British Isles, though, because the, uh, the Vikings are really picking it apart, and the Irish, as we all know, are very into insular Christianity. Okay, loyalty or fear. As their duke, my vassals owe me their allegiance, my word is law. But how much obedience without devotion? Uh, how much is obedience with without devotion? In times of crisis, a slow response or half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? The answer may surprise you. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have my people like me. I'm a good leader. I have more important men to impress is a great insult to someone. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. How's it going? Welcome to the chat. I've had a like completely absent chat this whole day. It's really nice to see someone. Okay, empty council position. I'll reassign you. Oh my god, these are some really fancy marshals. They're both really expensive, though. God damn. Oh yeah, I, I totally agree. CK3, there are times when I've played this game for like 10 hours straight and not even noticed. It's easy to just lose track of time with this going on. Oh, have you played it? Oh yeah, it's like complex long-term planning means eh, who cares? Yo, how much of CK2 have you played? I played a thousand, just like 12 hours short of a thousand hours of this of CK2. Okay, all right. My dynasty unlocked noble veins. I cannot disagree with that. That is probably the first thing I would pick. Let time pass a little bit faster. I can still hold a feast, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, dude. I played, um, 
I played so much CK2, I was stoked when they announced this game. But I was also, like, really anxious about it, because, like, I heard Imperator, Roar Imperator Rome was pretty bad. Not a whole lot. I've probably watched as much CK2 as I've played. I want to get CK3, but I can't convince myself to drop the coin yet. That's understandable. I mean, I actually just dropped a review on Steam for CK, uh, CK3, and I basically said that CK2 and CK3 are such different games that if you haven't played either, since CK2 is free now, it's definitely worth investing your time in CK2. Because um, they put, uh, I think, nine years worth of development into it, and there's so much more uh, flavor to it. This game is fantastic, but it doesn't nearly have as much, like, uh, uniqueness in events. Like, I've gotten the same events over and over again. Oh my god, and you can name your cats in this one, and I love it so much. You couldn't name your cats or dogs in CK2. Oh, it for sure needs a little bit more seasoning. I feel like we're going to get that in, in the upcoming years, because... From what I've read from the developers, and I've seen their videos, and read their, um, you know, uh, their, their dev posts, they're really passionate about the game. They're really passionate about the Crusader King series, and I feel like they're going to put their personality into it, and that's really nice to see. I mean, they love their DLC, so maybe I'll get into CK2 for a while while I wait till the big pack comes out CK3. Yeah, that's fair. Their DLC is outstanding. Because, oh my god, what, what keeps happening? This barony keeps... I keep losing this barony. All right, grant to a low noble. I'm going to make sure she gets married this time. No, not to my son, Pop Music. He's one year old. If you're getting any DLC for CK2, there's a couple I'd recommend uh, if you haven't already gotten it. The Charlemagne DLC, I think, is the one that lets you start in the earliest start date. And um, Monks and Mystics is what lets you gain uh, cults and obscure religions and you can become a satanist and lo use literal magic to manipulate other people it's pretty fantastic monks and mystics goes like a little that's like a step out of what feels natural for uh, a game about the middle ages so that's like that's like the most magical outrageous thing the game does but most of the other dlcs like um charlemagne Charlemagne's my favorite because you can start in, I think it's 769 or something. Nice. Uh, greetings, my charming vassal. I hope that when I come to this fight, I have less with no other opinion. I must rescind your appointment as Chancellor of West Francia. Okay. I really don't care if I'm not... If I'm not part of your council, I can start a faction against you. So, fuck off, bud. Oh, if only I could get a claim against France. Uh, what? Do you have any DLC for CK2 yet? Greetings, Duke. I've heard good things about you, but I'm interested in starting a written conversation. Hell yeah! Let's become friends. Okay, yeah, no rush. I'm just saying, like, if you feel like looking it up... I have recommendations because I spent an absolute buttload of time in CK2. But uh, if you're not, like, willing to spend the money, then the base game has enough flavor. And I definitely appreciate the viewership because I haven't really streamed a whole lot. This is, like, my first time legitimately streaming. And I'm happy to have a viewer. I really appreciate that. This guy's greedy, trusting, content. And a gray eminence. Uh, tell me about friendship. 
Maybe that'll lure him in. Hell yeah. I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, best thing you can do, in my understanding, is try to have a regular schedule. That way you can get the same people coming back. Yeah, I heard that. I think I need to start... I, I definitely... If I want to make a career out of this, or just at least make a community out of this, I should start making a schedule. I just spending a lot of time doing other things. I'm checking in on messages. I've got to turn some lights on because I'm starting to get sleepy in here. <laughs> it's getting dark. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm st I'm playing with the idea of regularly streaming. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'll keep you updated if you follow. I'll make regular posts to see what's up. Or I mean, I guess uh, if you want, you could add me on Steam or something. I could I yeah, directly chat with you. Greetings, Duke. U days. I still don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm gonna keep saying U days. To think that you would ask such a subject dearest to me. You truly know me better than most. Yeah, I do. I know how to read text. Uh, trade deal's not really good. I could get a weak hook on him, but I really just want the uh, diplomacy lifestyle points. Lifestyle is so cool in this game. Oh hell yeah, more alliances. Oh my gosh, what's happening? My dear uncle, I call on you for Lance. Blah, blah, blah. What are you fighting against? He's attacking someone. Upper Burgundy. Sure, yeah, I'll help you out, bud. This time I'm actually gonna help him out. Last time I just told him I would. It's pronounced like Ood. <laughs> I'm going to call him that from now on. Duke Oodays. Oh, you're right, but it's French. The as might be silent. French Ude. It is me, Duke Ood, coming at you. Why is he so good at sieging? What's happening here? What do you got? He doesn't have anything to help him siege! He doesn't have siege equipment! How is he so good at this? Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy more shit. Yoink! Duke Ood coming straight from the underground. You know, Duke Ood is gonna fuck some shit up is what he's gonna do. Straight to Dole. Yeah, let's mess up. Oh my god, we're just fighting a kingdom. I didn't even realize that. He's fighting the kingdom of Lotharingia. They have so much more army than us combined. This is gonna end horribly. You know what? Duke Ood don't give a shit. Duke Ood coming at you. Three months left, let's speed through this. Neighboring ruler one more, I don't care. No, don't leave! <laughs> oh my god. It's so easy to accidentally send your troops the wrong way. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Ruh -oh. Okay, sometimes I feel like the entire world rests upon my shoulders. My responsibilities as Duke of Anju are endless. I hardly have a moment left myself. Oh, excuse me. Uh oh, the game knows what year it is in real life. Ah, uh, yes. 420 of 911. Endless toil. Mental break. The toil never ends. Alright, so my options here. Are so 
if you're familiar with the stress mechanic, I can either just say, fuck it, I'll probably be fine in five years. Or I can become, like, gain a new trait, like irritable, which means I'll snap at people more often. Or I could become a drunkard and just go to the bar whenever I feel like it, taking a tax to my health. Which do you think I should do? Uh, these three options. I will do whichever you think is best. Oh, I have many children. I have, I think, two sons and a couple grandsons. So my, uh, yeah, who needs health? So you're saying I should become a drunkard? Or I should just deal with my stress. Deal with it. All right. Explode. I have gotten to the top tier stress before, but I have not. I, I like don't recall what happened. All this really does is give me minus 10% fertility. That's no big deal. I think it also gives me a health pe penalty somewhere. No, not yet. Yeah, it just makes me less fertile. Whatever. Let's do it. Where am I? There we go. Alright, let's fuck up this kingdom. Lotharingia wasn't like this before, actually. Yeah, you can't get it on if you're too angry at the world. See, my impression was that people, like, people fucked as a distraction from from the stresses of the world. That would be like, oh my god, I think if you're, um, you're lustful, you have a chance of uh, having the stress reaction of becoming like a brothel regular. You just keep, you go to the brothel to, to de-stress and it's like a huge de-stressor, but you have a chance of impregnating one of the whores. Yeah, where are you guys going? Allies, hello? Oh my god, they're gonna die. I'm not joining them. This is a suicide mission. They have more army. We should just keep snatching up land and draw this out. Okay, you did say explode. That is correct. You're not wrong. And I do have a lover and a wife. My wife is 40 and homosexual, I guess. Uh, and my lover is 35, beautiful. Not much else going on. Okay, cool, my wife is pregnant again. Speak of the devil. Speak, oh, the devil. Whoa! I don't know, I don't know how long you're here, but earlier I was complaining about how the AI is horrible when it comes to wars. So, like, I'm over here just sieging land. Because, uh, it's better to siege land up far away from the army that will definitely kill us. My lover has a bang and helmet. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Can I give her a haircut? No, I can't. She's not part of my family. I can imprison her for adultery. Oh, that's funny. Why does she have that helmet? She is a novice hunter, that's why, I guess. Hell yeah. Somewhere between Cathar Fransonian and being a novice hunter. It's pretty rad. Check out those braids, too. Were you here for when my, uh, my son died? Uh, when I was, this is my son, and my lover is my son's wife, and then my son died in a tragic hunting accident. Woo! Just keep running away from the army second land. I was there for that, but I suspect the novice hunter will <laughs> Yeah, she might have killed her husband to be with me. I'm not certain about that. Oh, 
Oh my god, I might lose this battle here. They just keep joining in. It's got some good rolls in there. Come on, guys. Oh my god. I have been incredibly outnumbered and I am winning this battle. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Don't say I don't do anything for you, allies. Alright, how much have I participated in this one? I'm sorry, my mistress, but you violated the law. You've committed adultery and I have to arrest you. Could you imagine? Haha! -ha, I caught you in the act of banging me! When you are clearly married to my son, you criminal. Actually, I think that's a law uh, in the uh, the religion where um, male adultery is shunned and female adultery is criminal. So, like, if I'm an adulterer, people are like, that's pretty bad, man, but you shouldn't do that. Just nothing criminal, man, but stop. And if a woman does it, they're like, off with her head. God damn that bitch. Pay the fine or some of the consequences. Alright, I'm just taking my army back. Oh, no way. No, you guys are not going to march through that army. Fuck off with that noise. The auto pathfinding is awful. It's always going to try to find a way through something that'll kill you. That is as much participation as I'm willing to give. Hey, pretty strong girl. Antoinette music. I'm gonna call her, what kind of music should she be? She's pretty strong. She has tier two on the strength uh, congenial trait. She's jazz, she's definitely jazzy. Jazz. All right, jazz music, you are balanced. And you are robust. Like B-movie jazz. You like jazz? When I introduce her to the realm, when I ask someone to marry her, I'm gonna ask them, do you like jazz? Okay, my truce is over and I can declare war on this idiot again. Because while I'm still alive, I'm gonna keep pushing my claims. I have almost all of Normandy under... <laughs> under control. Uh, what else? Which one should I take? The most sizable. I like Rowan. Rowan's got a river going through it. If I control both sides of that, that's pretty rad. For sure, declaring war on that. Allies! Convene! Not you, because you're worthless. But you are okay, so I will call you to war. You know what? I'll call them too. Why the heck not? Let's have some friends. Excellent. Thank you for joining my war, stranger. Or I guess not stranger. They are a familiar person. So, okay. Important message from Duke Ood. <laughs> Duke Ood coming in hot. Oh man, you're gonna make me so upset when I'm not Duke Ood anymore. Available perks. My friend relations give me plus two random skill points. All right, let's see what skill points lurch up with all my friends. Cool, my Marshal and my Diplo. Greetings to Duke Ood of Anjou. Oh, I don't like how I pronounce that one. I have heard good things about you. I am interested in starting a written conversation. I hope that this letter finds you well. Willing, and I am awaiting your swift reply. Well, shoo, that's really sweet of you, but you're pretty useless, so I'm just going to use you for the... Prestige gain. 
Duke Ood is here looking for a good time, not for a long time. You should stream. You're really funny. <laughs> Out here with the quips. Do you stream anything? Also, I I see your name, the Udet, or I don't know how to pronounce it properly. If it, I'm thinking like the the Udet or the Udet, I'm adult, so forgive me. Yeah, I understand that. There was a while where I wanted to be like a YouTuber and a streamer, but I worked like 60, 50 hours a week, and I was just not in the cards. But, uh... COVID hit me pretty hard. <laughs> the Ood! <laughs> I'll take it. I'll call you Duke the Ood. Duke the Udet. I really just want to stomp on this these guys over here. I know I shouldn't. I should just... I'm getting way too distracted here. Just march on back to the capital and take that. Yeah, but back when I worked like 50, 60 hours a week... Oh my god, Duke Nukem. That would that yeah. Next gen, next gen, next gen's gonna be Duke Nukem. Uh, working like fifty or sixty hours a week, it was in a convenience store, and the convenience store was like such a mess of a place that like, if I wasn't there, everything would catch on fire. You know what it's like to work at like. Uh, in retail. In food service, stocking shelves, working a register, like anything that's like low, low end labor, everything will catch fire if you are not there. It's the pits. It totally is. There, I did make like a YouTube video once every like four months when I found the motivation to, but most of the time I was just, you know, drinking a lot and sleeping. <laughs> Well, my mortal body, duke or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke up coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Do no more than what is necessary. Ah, excellent work, Camilla. What's this? White piece? No. These guys are just afraid of losing. <laughs> Pay my respects, fools. You guys just tragically afraid of me. Uh, this is like a, dis a, f a distant descendant of who I fought last. They've just their mother told them stories of how horrific a ruler I am and how they should be afraid if I declare war on them. They're like, oh god, it's him. Duke Ood. Duke Ood is coming. He's coming. There we go. Bring out that ladder. I keep sieging Maine because Maine is their capital. They never move their capital despite it being completely surrounded by me. Ah, oh, shit. I might not win this battle. Okay, they fucked off. Nice. This is a bad oomen if Duke Ood were to declare war. Oh, it totally is. They should fear the Ood. And not like the Doctor Who Ood, although that would be a neat little, like, cultural mod. Heresy. Oh my god. There's so many heretics in France. Catholicism sucks. 
Ah, uh, just pounded a bunch of buttons. Okay, here we go. Here's an army of about... Close to 1,600. Let's see if we can tackle them. What do you say, game? I'll probably lose. Just wait a minute. Scare them away. They're scared shitless. What were the Ood and Doctor Who? Were they the marshmallow people? The Ood? If I remember correctly, they were like the um, stereotypical gray alien looking guys, but they held balls in front of them, like in System Shock 2, but the balls were like their means of communication, I guess. I don't fully remember, because I don't... It's been a long time since I've seen Doctor Who. Uh, I watched it back in like uh, David Tennant era, and then right when Matt Smith era started is when I stopped watching. My god, Mr. Pope, stop fighting for Jerusalem. I might commit. I'm not going to make a commitment now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got the tentacle mouths and everything. They're like, I guess, Lovecraftian slightly. Oh, for sure, go right ahead. I definitely need to get food myself, but I just have not had the motivation to get up and away from the keyboard. I will be talking to myself in the meantime, though. <laughs> Duke Food! If I make a cadet branch, it's gonna be food, and I'm gonna name every character after a different kind of food. Hold me to that. And hills, more soldiers, high quality. Oh, no, I don't like that. No, God, my soldiers are idiots. Also, speaking of idiots, I'm gonna be an idiot right now and create another men at arms regiment. I could definitely use some bowmen. Bam. Typing, so yeah, you are talking to yourself. And it's like, hey, here. <laughs> my my friends and I always joke that if uh, there's no one like present in the room, then we could always talk to the FBI man in our phone. So if not the NSA agent, then it's the FBI man. I'm also gonna save the recording later, and hopefully, if I have the motivation to, make a YouTube video out of this later. Oh lord, I didn't even realize there was a dangerous faction against me. What's happening here? Okay, let me see. Faction is 100% discontent, but their faction military power is 31% of my total military. I could take him down easy. Fuck you guys. Fight me. Is my official statement to these people. As Duke Ood. King Louis is being attacked by the Count. What? A petty Count has declared war on the King? Sure, I see that going well. Anyways, let's stomp on this peasant revolt real quick. Okay, cool. We're the best. Oh, gosh. That was way too quick. Victory. I did it. Neat. These idiots are scared to face me head on, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and start sieging their land. 
Let's do it. Before my allies get broked up into another war, because you know that's going to happen soon. That always happens when you declare war on someone. Your allies decide to fuck off. Greetings, Duke Oud of Anjou. The people of County Sable have finally been converted to the true faith. Hell yeah! I thought you were never going to do it. At one point it said I had 134 years until he'd be able to convert them, but I guess Catholicism's fervor went up from 10% to 100% in the past, like, 10 years, so that's pretty cool. Under siege, my ass. Oh, I'm gonna siege just much quicker than them. Get hecked, idiots. I have the power of God and time control on my side. Let's get marching, boys. Get down there. Go to Angers. We're gonna fight. We're gonna have a battle in Angers. Oh my god. Okay, Sable is not happy. My liege won the war. That's cool. Being raided. What? When did the... It's not the Viking Age. I guess it is past the Viking Age. What am I talking about? I wanted to do something. A few nights. County control. That's what I wanted to check on. Sure. Sable's at 75%. Okay, yeah. Okay, I can deal with that. What county am I even fighting for here? Okay, it's Rowan. I'm gonna go siege Rowan now, guys. I hope you don't mind. I don't care if I'm being raided. I'm not gonna do anything about it. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Raid. Raid me! <laughs> That's a Twitch joke. Don't sue me. Sturmer is under siege. Where? And they stopped sieging so they could leave. That's pretty cool. You gotta love the AI's awful war sense. Speed up time a little bit while they're, you know, dancing around. Let them do their thing. No matter what, I'm going to siege quicker than them. And since they're taking so much time, it's going to take them even longer. Cool, disease outbreak. You would never hear me praise this in real life, by the way. Yay, disease! Each living child gives me one random skill point. Hell yeah! I'm better at everything now. It's all like an RPG. Pause. Alright, now march down back to Angers. I know that's probably not how it's pronounced, but you know what? That's how I'm gonna pronounce it, heck. Heck darn it. Also, to anyone who is currently listening, I'm going to be right back and hit the bathroom and put this at one speed and hope that everything goes...
And I'm back. Of course, while I was away, there was an event that interrupted the, <laughs> the lowest possible speed that we could be going on. Set that back to normal and... Hmm. I don't really care if my king likes me that much, so I'm just gonna like let my uh, direct vassals like me a little bit more. And of course, I scared these idiots away because they're scared of combat. Oh my god, and my allies are doing something. Jazz music increased our martial skill by three. Sweet. I always knew jazz was useful. I can designate a guardian for pop music. Pop music is into Marshall. That's very good because they're very good at fighting. That's exactly what I wanted for them. You can be raised by my Marshall. Spelled differently, slightly different terms. No, I don't need any more help in this war. Wait, I can call dynasty members. Does that mean I'm the head of the dynasty? That means I can rename it. Hell yeah, here we go. Welcome back, Manifest Dynasty. Perfect. We have the Manifest Dynasty now. That's all I ever wanted. All right, now this is awesome. I don't often have this when my allies actually choose to start sieging a county of their own accord, because usually they just don't commit to anything, and also a faction was created against me, and I don't like that. It's just a peasant's revolt, I don't care. Those are easy to squash. And I scared these guys so much, they are going into the ocean. Heck, these guys must be going into debt. It's her that I'm fighting. Not going into debt, but you know, not doing too hot either. Him. There we go. That's the person. Not doing too hot. I'm gonna beat you to the punch, buddy. You're not going to siege that nearly as quickly as my allies sieging this county. Idiot. And there it is. Your county is mine. Sit down, army. You guys done good. And now... Increase control in Rowan, because Rowan is the sketchiest of them all. As they say, the sketchiest of them all. Now I can call a hunt, but I might not do that yet. Compassionate Discord! Okay, just answering a text. Moved by Tributations Count Lewark has offered me his, his counsel and his aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties, or that would be you. And you are the Count of what? Those things? Just, <laughs> just those two counties, I guess? Oh, right, you're the guy I gave the counties to because you matrilineally, matrilineally married into my family. I would love to lose the stress, but I already promised 
the ood it, that I would explode. So is there anything that can gain me stress? Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. They can duel to the death. I don't want that. I could lose 10 dread. That doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be dreadful anyway as the compassionate leader that I am. Let's find some common ground. Let's see if I can increase that diplo. Hell yeah. I lost a little bit of stress, but don't tell anyone. Don't tell the Udet. Faction created. Against my liege. What's going on? Oh my god! What is going on here? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Against my liege. They have a thousand percent military power against my liege. What's my gang been up to? Oh my god. What if I joined him? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Mental break. Imposter. Okay, hold up. What's my... Did anything in particular happen or just... Okay. Recently, I feel like I am not worth the Duchy of Anjou. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? Try to be good, calm Duke, but every one of my courtiers seems to seems determined to fry my nerves. Small cry crises dominate my days, and I can feel myself cracking in a way that others of my situation never do. Damn this universe for raising one so poor as me to such heights. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm a martyr. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I can become irritable. I can confess my disturbing sins. Or, I can keep trying to pop. Let's keep trying to pop. Let's build up the stress. I'm close to death anyway. It'll be an interesting ride out from here. I'm already possessed. Anyway, I also have a county that I need to give out to one of my many faithful children. Like this unlanded son. You get Rowan. Pop music became my vassal. Like you do. My health is poor, which in this game means that I could die anytime. And it's not from my stress, it's just from the fact that I am possessed, something I got at a fairly young age. Regrettably. Duke Erberglarb has been excommunicated. What's the scoop with that guy? No, I don't want to fight that guy. He's strong. Despite being excommunicated. What's going on with your war over here? Your crusade's going pretty poorly again. Big surprise. Jerusalem ain't worth it, Pope.
What else we got? Oh, Count Pop. I can modify your feudal contract. Just give me more taxes. Oh man, I can have more knights. I don't know if it's going to be worth it though, because I feel like I'm going to die soon and I'm going to have fewer knights again. And I would have just spent that money and or prestige for no, ain't nothing. things happen at once as per usual it's never just one thing i've heard good things about you i'm interested in starting a written conversation okay diplo focus just gets me all these nice neat written conversations sure i'll be friends with you knights forget by god this party is boring mateu has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen how can mortal men be expected to endure this snoring celebration of mediocrity? My eyes cast about the room looking for a diversion. Any diversion! Ad Alberto gives me a friendly wave from a nearby balcony. I've got to do something about <laughs> something to stop this evening dragging. Oh, for sure? We gotta keep increasing that stress? I'm dying! Oh my god! Oh no! Stress level 2 has brought me to the brink of death. Wait, who is my heir anyway? My son, 37 years old. Kind of an idiot. But you know what? I love him anyway. At least his heir seems pretty reliable. Has my liege even discovered limited crown authority? I'm upset. I've still got 12 more years. No way I'm going to live that long anyway. So you know what? Let's just keep this gravy train going. Grip my teeth. Let's see what my titles I'm going to... Or what titles I will lose. I will lose... Sable. No big deal. It'll still be in my realm... But I'll, it won't be under my direct control, and that's okay. It's gonna go out with a bang here. Thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. What do you like? Less content, humble. Tell me about your family. Oops. They didn't want to talk about family. But that's okay. Does my heir have claims to the... Nah. But you know what? I can fabricate claims on these guys. It's okay. I picked them apart sufficiently. They at least no longer have a legitimate claim to their own duchy. If I get one more county of theirs, then it's mine. I don't want two duchies because I have partition. 
and my duchies would most likely be split between my uh my children but i'll i'll take it for what it's worth my whole point is to take the kingdom of france whenever i get the chance and i just hope italy rebels and becomes independent again so that france will be easier for me to take control of But uh, whoever's out there, get ready to watch me die. This will be a nice and interesting thing. Speed up time. Let's just get this over with. My liege won his war. I'm so proud of him. Come on. I know it's coming. I know I'm going to be caught off guard by it no matter when it happens. Actually, you know what? Here's a question. Can I start a war and spend the prestige to do so and then have my heir continue that war? It'll be a ducal conquest, so it'll still be legitimate for my heir. Let's find out. This guy's vastly inferior, so this might be worth it. Send him off. Ba -ba -ba. Why is he vastly inferior again? Because it's a child. Poor kid. First thing that happens to him once he becomes Duke of Pituri. Trump can marry. Who's that? Who are you? A grand daughter. Break the troth. No. My granddaughter's gonna marry someone else now. Who cares if people are mad at me? Wait, no. No, no, you're gonna marry someone. Uh, genius. Let's see if we can get some good, multiple good traits going at once. And someone young enough. You seem young enough. Let's do this. You'll be robust and intelligent. Your children will be strong and smart. And they'll be of my dynasty. <laughs> Available perks, it really doesn't matter, but let's go for it. What does this give me? Stress loss, house opinion, fertility. I should be dead by now. This usually, this warning usually happens a year before you die, not like two years. But I'll take it, you know what? I'll take all the time I get. the very drawn out part 35 more days then maybe I can march over here in time yep let's get over there oh wait no we don't even need to because they lost so many people they can't even siege the county anymore so let's just march over to their capital and siege that I mean what are they gonna do about it stay there and Whack their sticks against my stone walls? There's nothing they can do. Get hecked. Oh, they got wise. <laughs> they got wise and hecked off back to their homeland. Oh shoot, you know what, while I have money, don't let me forget, I should get more siege weapons. 
Do you know what else else? More bowmen. I might go into debt because of it, but I really like bows and arrows. Archers are cool. And yeah, break those walls. Catch those plagues. <laughs> they added a lot of really interesting sound effects for the siege events. Hi okay. Jesus, okay. Alright, I get the point. You guys are not doing too hot. Maybe I can march up there and scare them away from reclaiming. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't care who grows friends with who. Rock and roll music and... Oh. It's my son. I think he's... Yeah, he's my heir. So I definitely wanted to become friends with someone. Yeah, sure. Become friends with that kid. He's heir to France. That's pretty influential. Considering the whole point of... This session is to become the king of France. Wow, awesome. I don't need more friends. If I get more prestige, maybe that'll help influence my renown. Well, not really, but you know what? I like to imagine it does. I will win decisively. Poor souls. I'm glad it told me I would win decisively because even though sometimes it says that, I expect sometimes I won't. It's just, they're guessing. This game messes with you. Wait a minute, no wait, no. This is closer. Let's just, uh, let's just get the other barony up here. Because we're so close to winning, we just need like a small little droplet of water. The tiniest little bit. Another small victory, because they don't even really have an army anymore. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of demolish them. It's only three more months, let's, oh. Uh... Poor Duke Oods. I played him for 52 years. Started playing as this kid when he was 10. He died from a seizure, Jesus. Charming man, he became famous for his elaborate feasts and grandiose balls. <laughs> his grandiose balls. Duke rock and roll ascends to the throne. Oop. Yeah. Oop, poor Oods died. Many fear that rock and roll may have been better suited for church rather than the throne. You know what they say. The church loves its rock and roll. I am now the Christian rock band. Duke rock and roll. Oh, man. He's already decided what he wants to do with his life. What do we got going on? Oh, he's pious. He's pious as fuck. But he definitely needs a lot more prestige. Ah! Wrong. Let's get a health boost. Let's see how long we can make this guy live. I am not really good with money, though. Holy shit. My wife sucks with money. Whoa! I didn't even realize she's still the really cool, unreformed Slavic faith. I love playing as NNCK, too. Similar to the Vikings, the uh, Germanic... Or, I'm sorry, the Germanic uh, faith that you could be. Uh, you could play as, like... 
I could basically conquer indefinitely. It was a lot of fun. I wonder if I could secretly convert to her faith. I can! For sure, that would incite a, uh... <laughs> a crusade against me. But, uh, ah, oh, damn it. My war is inconclusive. I was so close to winning it, too. Alright. All good, though. I'm the new head of Dan... <laughs> Manifest Dynasty. I can ask the head of faith for gold. Sure. I don't care if the Pope hates me a little bit. He still loves me. Who'd have knew that following... <laughs> Manifest... Yeah, exactly. The Manifest Dynasty. Oh, he paid 101 to me. Nice. And all kinds of council positions open. Steward, spy master. Which one of you is more threatening? You has a military strength of 157. One of you, 150, 151. I guess. Or I guess 250. Yeah, that's the one. And the mayor. Mm hmm. Chancellor doesn't do a whole lot, so I'm not too concerned. You just do your thing, fam. Now this belongs to my kid, Count Pop. Oh, this is turning out pretty nice. Alliances, alliances, imprisonment, 2%? Fuck that. No, I don't want to start a war. With my count, that is. I don't want to start an internal war. I would rather have an external war. Someone fighting someone outside of my own demand. Demand. Domain. Domain. That's the word. Powerful vassal demands love and affection. That's what they demand. And holy shit. I am far better with military than my last leader was. Heck, I need more prestige. And you know what that means? That means we need to hold some feasts. Wow. Elodie music. That's my friend now. My daughter. My daughter's my friend. Who who would imagine? What a what a woman. Incredible. Now let's go for a hunt. We just need more prestige. I'm blasting off with all my money to get all the prestige I possibly can. Sure, I'll be spy master. I don't know why, because I'm awful at intrigue, or poor, as the developers would say. I'm far better at learning. But you know what? You're the king. We ride. We 
press on. Our world narrows to the nature surrounding us as we follow the wolf on its escape through a ravine. Riding alongside with Falco. Who's Falco? What's... My courtier, just some guy. A spineless blackguard. I can hear the thunder of hooves, dogs barking, men shouting. Excitement flows through me as we slowly gain on our quarry. We continue. Beep. Next time we'll get it. Yeah, I figured. It's our first time hunting. We're not going to get anything interesting. Hell yeah. That should be enough prestige, right? 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 My claims? What claims do I have anyway? Let's pause for a second. Pause time. Z Zawaru, though. I only need a hundred. It's not a big deal. And they're... Inferior. Yeah, let's go for it. Bang. Whoa. Who are you? Why, why doesn't the game inform me anymore when I have factions about to rebel against me? What happened? Oh, because I have 8% military power against me, that's why. Because it's so inconsequential. The game didn't want to warn me. No, I'll fight you. Alright, let's take a detour. We're gonna fight this army first, and then we're gonna fight the other army. Actually, we don't even need to bother with them. There's no way they're gonna siege anything. They had too few people. Okay, I'll scare them across the river where they lose half of their dudes. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I love the sheer intimidation factor here. I can scare all these armies away. That's all you really need. If I finish my siege, I don't need to fight any of these guys. But I will keep them on the run. It sure suck if those guys congregated. And that one's done. So we could congregate. Let's meet up with them. Let's have a big party together. How unfortunate. Click, click. Oh, sweet, and I can ransom people there too. And imprison people. No, I'm not going to imprison someone I have a 0% chance of doing, game. That is an awful recommendation. All around. Okay, where 
where's the low county control? It's probably worst here, to be honest. Hey, yeah, 0% is just slightly too low. If I want to imprison someone, I want to at least have a chance at doing it. Yeah, break those walls. They will soon be ours and we'll have to repair them. But for now, break them. Where did those guys go? No, that's, that's the wrong guys, isn't it? The... Whatever. Next county. Fighting these guys is just too easy. They just have a long... Long line of rulers that don't know how to defend their own... Duchy. Works out in favor for me. Because I could be the next, uh... Uh, what, what do you call him? William the Conqueror, except hopefully I won't be a bastard. I don't think I can play as a bastard, anyway, unless I'm legitimized. My lord, my bishop Matthew approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has a, a copy of an influential Regula Pest Pastoralis, but refuses to sell it to me. If you will make him see the error of his ways, I'll be in your debt. He wants a book? <laughs> I can just steal the book from him. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll buy the book for me instead. Idiot. It does. Ragula. It's like ragu. Oh, here they come. Big strong army coming in. With a big strong fight. Now nah, I'll keep my army together and I'll just fight them when I'm done. <laughs> These easy wars are deceptive. It makes you think that the AI is always going to be this way, but no! I have lost many wars, surprisingly. Like, I was surprised that I was losing them for some reason. Like this? Let's see what kind of bullshit happens when I mark. Oh, I already won. I don't need to march over there. Haha. -ha. So be it. I'm famous. Okay, Count. Uh, I'm sorry, Marshal. Increase control in this county, because it is zero. 86 is cool and all. That's going to slowly tick up. Zero is more concerning. And I don't care about those other wars, I think. Unless they're against me. Duke rock and roll. Someone is attacking me. Who are you? Peasant up. Oh, right. I forgot about the peasant uprising. Because they're not doing anything. They're just chilling over here. Written by a true metal musician to the impo impotent rock and roll. I'm just gonna move my rally point over here and scare the absolute shit out of them. Hello! There we go. Oh man, I'm trying to make her like me and she just doesn't, she's not feeling it. To the impotent rock and roll. The insults they come up with are amazing. And sometimes people just compliment you for no reason. Like I had a character that wasn't beautiful or anything, but everyone was writing me to the, to the handsome duke. And I'm like, oh shucks, buster. 
<laughs> the handsome duke. Oh. It's like they were homosexual. I wasn't homosexual. We were all just like heterosexual. There's no like character modifier here I could identify that would make them want to call me handsome. But they just did it anyway, and it was really flattering. So I can usurp, I think, yeah, I can usurp the duchy now, but I don't want to do that anytime soon, because under my current uh, partition law, I'll probably end up losing it, I think. I'm not sure if both, um, like, all of the highest titles will be consolidated to the same person or what. Not exactly something I want to uh, test right now. Anatomical studies. Let's study anatomy. <laughs> you should have seen the other dicks. There's a reason we call you the handsome one. I don't know why I decided to put a British accent on that because they are French after all. I don't. I can't do a French accent for the life of me. For sure, I could imagine. I w at, when I play that, I was a. Uh, I think I was Duke in Neath, and the other Dukes around here, they're all just. Oh my God! Never mind. This person's literally disfigured. Hey, yeah, this guy is athletic. He's all right. Got this guy's an adulterer. Uh. Irritable, I guess, you know, arrogant, nothing really un Whoa. I missed something there. Oops. What's a British accent doing in France? Never mind, you bloody frog. Sure, I'll ransom them. Never mind that, you bloody frog. Could be, I mean... No, I'm French, never mind. <laughs> What's my culture looking like around here? French, Breton, Norse, Anglo-Saxon. This is the, uh, I started in the Viking Age after all, so everything up here is going to be a little bit Viking-ish. This is when Ireland goes from Celtic to Irish. The Irish culture, if I am not mistaken, uh, resulted as a blend between, uh, the, the uh, Vikings that decided to settle here and the, the Celts who inhabited the island. That might be incorrect, but that is what I assumed happened in history. Sure, I'll accept that. And I need a spy master so I don't get murdered. There's something peculiar about my vassal, Mayor Eustachy, I'm going to call her. 38-year-old spineless empath. Is it the way she smiles, the unmistakable peal of her laughter, or perhaps untamed emotional nature? I cannot quite put my finger on it, but at least one thing you know for sure. When I'm in her presence, I find it hard to focus on anything else. I'll express my undying life for her. Start seduction against her, start a romance, or let's fuck all that shit. <laughs> what am I busy with right now? I have one kid, and my wife's 54 years old. I'm a little bit concerned about my succession. And she's 38. Sure, let's romance her. Sing a love ballad. That could never go wrong. Nothing goes wrong when you sing a love ballad out of the blue to someone. Found a classic French love ballad which suits her perfectly. I practice it over and over. Everything must be perfect to find my treasure walking in the sea's gardens. Surrounded by her friends, with my heart beating like a hammer, I kneel before her singing. Her cheeks turn a deep pomegranate red, but she does not interrupt me. Complications all look... Or her companions all look pleased or jealous. Surely a good sign. You have a beautiful voice, my lord, she says. Before she hurries off, her friends quick to follow. I stand up shaking on my legs. 
watching them disappear between the hedges, my heart beating even harder than before. She won't resist my charms for long. I guess that's a good thing. I call that a good sign. She runs away giggling. <laughs> giggling is a sign that you sang well, right? <laughs> oh, look at my military strength growing strong. Curveball, changing the topic. Look at my strong military. I need it to be strong enough to beat that, and then I'll be happy. That's pretty far away off. So let's see what factions are up against my liege. The independence faction, every time I sing a love ballad, they run away too. <laughs> Under you know what? I don't know why. I'm sure you have a lovely singing voice. I didn't read any of this. All I read was, it was me, I farted. Romance, an embarrassing odor. I've secured an, invocation, ugh, an invitation to feast in seas. And a seat close to Eustachy. Despite my determined attempts, I am failing to strike up a conversation. She's probably read her speechless by the intensity of my affections. Suddenly, the loudest fart I have ever heard erupts from our table. A few of our guests are looking at Eustachy. I must save her! Oh, she's a keeper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's for certain. I'll take the hit for this. We got a 67% chance of success. And we succeeded. I took the hit. I farted. I'm Farticus. Declaration of love. What? Oh, who, where did you come from? Hello. Oh, it's my wife. Never mind. Forgot about her for a second. As I put her side the sheets to lay down, I find a little scroll resting in my bolster. Someone has entered my chambers unnoticed. A chill runs down my spine as I carefully unroll the thick parchment. My kind-hearted treasure. Lord of my heart, I can keep my feelings secret no longer. From this day on, I will do everything in my power to prove my loyal affections. We, see, we will see each other soon. Until then, dream of me, my love. Eternally yours, Duchess Rosa. She is. That's a thing that can happen in this game. You're, uh, like, legitimately in the Middle Ages, marriages weren't a thing produced of love. They were produced of, like, you know. You you know. Uh, in the Middle Ages, it was, it was just, like, uh, for, for land or for... Uh, the betterment of your, uh, your your house or your dynasty and all that. For frogs, right. And it was like commonly known between husbands and wives that they, they just kind of do it for publicity. But in this, you can seduce or romance your wife. Th these are options. So she is currently trying to romance me, I believe. Ah, you know what? I'll accept it, because there's nothing cuter than having, like, falling in love with your wife in this game. We could have so many frogs! <laughs> what is it? Like, I forget why I married her in the first place. I think it was just because she's Amazonian, which is the highest tier physical trait. So I married her for her genetic frogs. Her congenital frogs, if you will. Because she is a lowborn. She has no titles or anything. She's just got some really good frogs in her arms and her thighs. Snoo Snoo. <laughs> exactly. She wants Snoo Snoo. And me. My, my skin grows soft and spongy. Because I am weak. I am small. And she is Amazonian. Congenital frog sounds like an, a terrible condition. It sure does, but have you seen 
that scaly is um, a physical trait that uh, people can inherit. So take, take a look at this. Scaly gives you minus 20% fertility, plus 10 natural dread, minus 30 natural or attraction opinion, minus 10 vassal opinion, plus 10 to other scaly characters. So if you're, if you see another fish out there in the world, you're like, yo, my people. But I mean, take a peek. That's pretty hideous, isn't it? I think scaly is to indicate that they are, like they have, uh, like eczema or, or something, you know? I, I can't say for sure, but it's kind of weird, weirdly specific that they put in Scaly. Anyway, for sure I will come to this guy's party. A warm welcome. Four more years until I could declare war again. I forgot that I kept the game paused for so long. Rip. What's going on with Burgundy? It's huge. So yeah, uh, the Udit. You can get congenital frogs. It is, you can become scaly. It's not an admirable trait, but it can happen. When I sent out invitations to dance, I was looking forward to an evening of good company and frivolous fun. Instead, I have found myself stuck in a dreadful conversation with my nephew, Count Rub Rubaud, Raubaud of Everau. Good evening, greets a familiar voice. Duchess Rosa joins the conversation. She's an attentive listener, and soon Raubaud's attention is fully on her, and I'm free to escape. I could become a student of diplomacy, but I am not. I've, I am a... I would rather try to advance my learning skill if I can. Do I have stress? I don't have any stress. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Student of diplomacy. Bam! And I'm a little bit better at talking to people. Sweet. Do you or a loved one suffer from congenital frogs? Test subjects are needed for a new study. <laughs> My mind immediately went to the fact that you can get universities in this game. I'm just imagining, like, send them to the University of Oxfordshire. Where's that at? Where's Oxfordshire? Nah, they don't have the university yet. And neither does Cambridge, I bet. That'd be so cool if you could send them in just for, like, congenital testing. Or maybe, like, an ad for this game would be, Do you or a loved one suffer from congenital scaly? Are you scaly? Is your family scaly? Are your friends scaly? Then you may be... Fuck, I'm forgetting it. <laughs> I've been doing this for a hot minute now. I'm on like almost my sixth hour of doing this. I might call it quits around 8.30. But until then, I'm going to keep the ball rolling. We're getting some shit done. Well, my nephew proves himself highly capable, especially in discreet manners. Okay. Yeah, sure. Take take the reins, bud.
these romantic subplots are really not that... Oh, yeah, she didn't even realize that she holds a title. Oh, I don't care for it. It's just a barony. But you know what? I will continue with this. I will write to her about her. She's a craven. She is not ambitious. Compassionate and diligent. I'll just call her pretty. You're pretty. How does she respond? She does not respond. Okay, <laughs> copy that. Okay, big goal is still to take over France. It's just getting harder by the day because the longer that they have control of Italy, the more integrated it becomes into his title. <laughs> All right. I think it's got to be 80% to send an ultimatum. Oh, wrong. Uh, is there anyone else I can have join? No hooks on anyone. I can press the demands, but I don't want civil war. Because I don't think we're ready for that. That's 2000. Yeah, 30. Get out of here. About 3,400, 4,500. Let's just round it down to 4,500 up against our liege who has 62,62. And can definitely afford, oh my god, and he is losing money. But he can afford at least one uh, mercenary troop. No. I don't think it's time yet. Tournament happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's going on? I need help because you to attend a local jousting tournament. The contestants have been delayed. The tournament won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I noticed that my marshal is just sitting around. Clearly bored. I can drink to lose stress. I can walk away to lose stress. Or I can spend some time with him and become friends with my marshal. Yeah. I'll become friends with my marshal. Romance, the gray one. Sweet lady Eustachy. Sighs and kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? She said... Uh, her cheeks turn red. By God, I hope she's pleased and not embarrassed. Slay a wolf for me. Sure, let's give it a whirl. We did it. One less wolf in the world. We're getting closer to the wolf genocide. Which again, I don't condone, but did happen in history. We are very low on wolves in the world, and it is a regrettable circumstance. Scandalous priest. Oh my god, it's the Pope. Why? Every scandalous priest thing that comes up is always about the Pope being a bag of shit. And then my options are to tell him he's a bag of shit and have the Pope hate me but have Catholicism like me more. Or vice versa. And that seems kind of oxymoronic. I don't know how to handle this situation. He's 84. Oh my god. The popes have some wacky magic to make them live long, I swear. I will gladly take the piety to make the pope hate me a little bit, because I don't think he's going to live that much longer. Just saying. Pope Benedictus V. Things aren't looking so good for him. Sweet. Embrace celibacy, abandon celibacy. Reduce chance of contracting illnesses, reduce chance of courtiers contracting illnesses. Washing your hands, legitimately just washing their hands. Or being carefree, which it feels like a complete antithesis of that. 
He probably is stealing some youthful energy from somewhere to keep going. Yo, speaking of which, uh, calling back to Crusader Kings 2, if you have the Monks and Mystics DLC and you are a Satanist, you can do that. You can basically sacrifice one of your children to gain a huge health buff so that you can live up to 10 to 15 years longer if you do it right. It's whack being a Satanist in uh, CK2. Anyway, I'm going to wash my hands. Seems topical. <laughs> Why else have kids? Look, when you have enough kids and the others are just there and you don't need them for succession or anything, the others have, you know, already had kids. Why not? In this economy, not sacrificing kids. Could you imagine? Yeah, you know what? I've been seducing her for like four years now. Let's finish the job. We did it. We we did it. Now that she is now it's five years later and she can probably not have kids anymore. She is now my soulmate. Good job, us. High five. Speaking of five years later. Oh my gosh. Now my wife wants me to slay a wolf. How many wolves can I slay? Oh, I'm telling her to slay the wolf this time. Oh, look at how the turntables. Okay, I can ask her for a wolf pelt. A necklace or a rare orchid I get a learning benefit from the rare orchid I think I'm gonna go for that one there she just gives me a nice little flat a an orchid that lives for 20 years no less I must be like amazing with plants to make that shit last I can also imprison her, the woman that I just spent five years to convince that I were in love. I don't know why I would, but I can. She only has seven bucks, so I wouldn't like economically gain from it, you know, just, just saying. Whoops, I don't know what I just clicked out of. I thought that was the thing. Oops. Oh, sweet. And now I got money is... Can I make a duchy building yet? No. Second tier castle? No. My glory is widely known. That's neato. I will keep beefing up my capital, though. Uh, have my archers do more damage. Why not? And then more taxes, I think, from here. Yeah. Do it. Upgrading things in this game is a little different than it is in CK2 because you can physically see the different holdings in your county. And for each holding, you have different upgrades you can you can see at the bottom here. And I'm not fully used to it, but for the most part, it seems pretty straightforward, I think. I hope I got... Hell yeah, okay, I'll take that. Like down here, it just tells you plus tax, fort level's higher, garrison's higher, yada yada. It's a little bit more straightforward than it is in uh, CK2, I guess. Just the interface is different, so, you know, I feel like there's more play that I'm not seeing. Like invisible stats somewhere. Lower Lorraine? 
Really? That's pretty close, isn't it? I have another chance to convert to insular Christianity, and I again decline. Because it's not close enough. Look, Cathar is completely eradicated. This was all Cathar before. Oh my god. Okay, but Insular's taken over pretty strong. And that's still... Still Muslim over here. Catholic's too strong. We need to do something about that. New bishop who loves me, that's cool. As, as strong as Catholics are right now, once the fervor drops, it they get like really weak. It's like really easy to dismantle Christianity once the uh and the fervor can drop within the span of a couple of years or like you know, in game years, which in out here in the real world is like an hour. An hour passes and suddenly Catholicism's so weak that you see Cathars appearing all over the place. Oh spooky. Ah oh, shit. Do I have, I do have prisoners. They've been in here for so long. I should really <laughs> let them out of here, because that's not cool. Uh, demand, conversion, recruit, weak hook. Let's just give them the whole shebang here. Join my team. Catholicism is strong, like your wife. But your farty lover is insular Christian. If only. That's not B. That's not the back button. My wife ain't doing too hot, actually. She's got chronic headaches. I never asked her to convert. But it's not like she would anyway. Oh, France. Become less big, will you? Whoa, I didn't want to do that. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. I'm doing pretty baller right now. This is a really good leader I've got. Swollen belly. Mayor Eustachie has come to me and I immediately knew why she's with child. Oh my gosh. I never thought it would come to this. How did you never think it would come to this? I could use more children, though. My rival, Pope Benedictus, has died. Oh my god. My rival, the Pope. All my stress, banish. Oh, my friend died too. Rip. You know what that means. Time to hold a feast. Uh, yeah, let's keep that up. Keep up the good health, man. Yeah. yeah, I could use more favor with the wife since uh, I did impregnate someone else after all. Until next time. Very good. That's a good stress relief there. Now, if only someone would declare war on... Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, you can only have one soulmate, and she's trying to... 
trying to romance me. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's okay. If only this were insular Christianity where I could have four wives, right? You know what? I will claim that this child is mine. Boom. Now everyone knows. Ah, who cares? I'm 47. Oh, hell yeah! Let's increase that crown authority. Rulers can change between available partition succession laws. Titles can be revoked. Vassals can be retracted. Clan government will provide 5% of levies and 2% of income. Let's do it! Sorry, all my vassals who aren't okay with that. But I do like having higher crown authority. Do I have anything else available yet? No, I need heraldry or a hereditary rule to change it. Remember that changing the primogeniture is one of the hardest things to do. Research has begun on Mormonism. Is that what happened? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And of course, like, the cultural head is not going to do anything relevant. I said, like, five minutes ago when you were wise. I'm wishing you had more wives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if only. I mean, I had the chance. I could have gone with insular Christianity, which has, like, the Mormon values of having multiple wives. But I didn't want the Pope to be mad at me. Daddy Pope. I like Daddy Pope's favor. I don't even know if they have Mormonism in the game. I think they just have, I think that's like too modern for what's going on here. Also, if you haven't seen yet, there is a, a, a faith called Ad Adam Adamatism, which is the reason why this game is rated M, but for the sake of this stream, I have disabled nudity. Yeah. The, the whole reason this game is rated M is because they programmed a lot of... I can't... Liz, I can't do that. Also, hello. Uh, I can't do that in the chat. I can't do that in Twitch because I'm sure I'll get banned. Uh, but this religion has natural, natural primitivism, which means that nobody is allowed to wear clothing. Two people are watching, and... Twitch records these things. I'm, I got the recording going on, so once I'm done streaming, it'll still be on the servers. Oh, if you're, yeah. I just noticed your, your chat in the Discord. I am going to be done with this in about six minutes. I was going to end the stream at uh, 8.30. And then I can join you in uh, uh, Discord. But I, I thoroughly thank you, Theudet, for, for sticking with me through, like, the bulk of this stream. Uh, not to get too off topic. Uh, Adamatism here is the reason why nudity exists in the game. Yeah, of course he is. He always gets stuck in there. Uh, and I had to disable... I, ha I went through a lot of different settings, because it's like, it's not in the settings menu here. There's no option for nudity here. The turning off the nudity in this game is something you have to do when you first start up the game. It's in the rules. It's in the game rules. It's whack. But uh, that is like the biggest distinction from, from Crusader Kings 2 with Crusader Kings 3. Because there are 3D models in this and they programmed a lot of boobies. There's a lot of different kinds of boobies. Yeah, they want them to be naked. They really wanted to make this game as like goofy as possible, I suppose. Also... There's a faction against me again. Ha! 
How about no? Ah! Sure. Okay, who's this and why do they hate me? Female presenting nipples should be legalized. It totally should. You could bring that up with uh, Twitch. But as it stands right now, I don't want to... This is like my first real stream ever. And I think I don't really want to jeopardize my chances at streaming. <laughs> uh, so abruptly. So all of a sudden. And I need to tell her to not be part of... Uh, this faction against me, because I'm not cool with that. How about I give her a present? No, that's a lot of money. How about I instead seduce her? Nope, she won't receive that. How about I romance her? She doesn't want that either. How about I ignore her? <laughs> Maybe nothing bad will come of it. Yeah, I mean, it would be really cool just to show off what what this game is like with, with the boobies included. Because it's really funny. Listen, there is some there is actually different values between uh seduction and romancing, because some people that you come at are all in, all down to clown with their pants down, and others are are more inclined just for the romance. Although, uh, the person I did make my lover with the romance option to become my soulmate and not my, like, s seduction focus did bear one of my children. So, you know. Oh my god, I didn't get to name him! Damn! You didn't see this, Liz, but my, my people are the House of Music. House Music. And the Udet gave me some really good recommendations here. I think my, my, uh, who is it? Oh, neither of my children have names. That sucks. Or, you know, names that matter. Doot. Doot will definitely be one of them. I will make Doot music one of my children. I think it was my sibling here. Jazz. Jazz is my most, I had so much hope for Jazz, but I don't think she's going to land anywhere in succession. Anyway, robust jazz. She, yeah, she's she has like the most solid genetics. She has a robust lass. Hell yeah, I can claim Maine now. Fuck you, I want Maine. Once and for all, I've been declaring war over and over again. I deserve Maine. There is a chance that you could win a war instantly by sieging the capital. And this happened to me a lot uh, in my early playthroughs, where you just go to the capital and you immediately try sieging it, and you take captive the king, duke, or count, whoever you're fighting against, the top liege. And the war is over within, like, a month of declaring it. You might be a duke, but you're also a loathsome churl. The unprovoked anger expressed by my vassal, Itaini, Itaini, comes at a complete surprise. He has been under a lot of stress lately, but to behave like this, I'd, somehow it just makes me lose stress to see this guy fucking angry. So that's cool. Oh, I'm gonna chase you down. You are not going to escape me, you tiny army. That's it? Cool. Easy, easy war. I just used one county and cru- wait. Did I completely crush their military? Yeah, they only have 33 dudes left in their- 
that, all that. Sweet. Okay, as soon as I get through this prompt, I'm gonna call it quits here. I've received an offer from the, oh my God, that's a lot of French. A noble woman from Angers. If the letter to be believed, then she is an experienced herbalist who would be willing to share her knowledge in return for room and board. The offer is intriguing, but I know Bishop Renaud is distrustful of charms and potions. He believes that Satan uses them for his own nefarious purposes. Okay, so I could become an er Angers! <laughs> he just escaped. Okay. So, I mean, either my choice is to become an herbalist, despite religion hating that, or go with religion. Appease the bishop. But the bishop already fucking loves me for some reason. Why is that? Church and state. Humble, faithful, faithful. Same faith. Personal diplomacy. Faith. Basically, me being an adulterer does not matter to him at all. He overlooks that because of how fucking cool I am for the religion. Dank herbs. Fuck the church and go with the devil's lettuce. Do herbs. Alright, the people have spoken. I am going to do herbs. Let's see what an herbalist does anyway. Plus two entry, plus two learning. That's baller. And it makes me even healthier. I'm going to be the healthiest motherfucker on the planet. I'm the herbalist now. And I have all these nice titles. I'm happy. What's happening? Secrets of nature. My guest... Oh my god. The albino torturer. <laughs> the fearless villain. Giselle. And I are spending a late night categorizing plants and brewing potions. I am paging through one of her worn tomes when I discover a paragraph which could make Bishop Renaud froth at the mouth. Of course I want to be a witch. Duke Rock and Roll. The healthiest. I don't know if I can. I could cert. Let me see. Yeah, I'll seduce her. Got a high chance. Got a 95% chance of success there. Also, yeah, I'm gonna become. I think I hit the right button. Did I? Ah, oh, damn it! I hope so. I want to be a witch. Being part of a witch coven. Gives you a big health buff. It's baller. Oh, and also disband army. You guys are just costing me lots of money. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. This has been a bundle of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to stream next time I play this game. I've expanded a lot. And my, my reign is now like a devout Catholic witch herbalist. So this is looking pretty promising. Uh, if anyone's just chilling in the chat that hasn't said anything, thank you for sticking around. Dude, it. Thank you for being here for like three fucking hours, man. It's been it's been fantastic. It's been a ball. Can't believe the Duke hates the troops. Can't believe it. Thank you, Captain Skits and Lizard Queen for for popping in here. I'll talk to you soon. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. You have a good one as well. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.